Hello. <laughs> we are back for round two. I just DM her. She says she's ready. So hopefully she's coming. Uh, thank you for you guys being back or whoever is back. Please and thank you. Uh, so guys, if you want to come and talk to Kay, what you do is uh, you click the link in the description of this video and you can just uh, come and talk. Yes, that, that's that's what we're trying to do tonight. All right, let me see. Uh, wait, she's saying me she... Oh, yeah, that is... Oh, she's here. Yes, I didn't know her name yet because I, I saw Kay. Yes, I'm going to add her. Guys, we're going to go right away because I know you guys... Um, but I don't see your picture, girl, so hopefully your picture is ready. Hey, girl. Hi. <laughs> hey, they're going to hate you tonight. I am letting you know already. How are you doing? I'm good. I apologize about everything. I work at a hospital. Um, I dispatch patients and post-op, so I couldn't, you know, really just... Okay. Understandable. Yeah, they, I don't know what you saw, what, what was said, but they were like... they were. <laughs> Everything. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I she's gonna, guys. She's gonna redeem herself. She she was doing a good thing. She was at a hospital helping out. So so hey. All right. So how was your day? My day was alright. Um, I went running in the morning. It's mm -hmm. okay. Okay. So what what do you do at the hospital? Um, like I said, like I work in post op, so I dispatch patients. Um going home from surgery and i also take care of patients coming out of surgery which is like bring them water food you know okay so. cool how long you been doing that um i've been doing it since high school honestly it started off as an internship but then i just like i decided to take it as like a part-time job just okay cool all right so uh so w you are single right well right. Um, <laughs> i don't know I don't know how to answer that, honestly. I don't. What do you mean? Okay, ex explain it to us, because... Um, you know, I have my little situationship. Okay. Um, that's private. It's not something that everybody knows about, you know? Mm hmm You know, sometimes in situationships, stuff happens. There's disagreements, it's, you know? And mm -hmm. you start to, like, venture off into finding, like people that are on the same level as your worth, as you know, who you really are as a person. So that's, mm -hmm. where, that's where I'm at right now. Like I'm focused on myself, but like whatever comes along and it's good for me to, I can go for that. Okay, so, somebody in the chat said you're trying to um, upgrade. Is that what it is? Um, <laughs> uh, you know what, I will be honest. It's not, I don't really think it's upgrading, but um. I'm going to say, like, it's just the change that's needed, you know? I wouldn't say upgraded because, you know, this person has been a good person to me. Mm -hmm. But it's just sometimes in life you grow apart, and I feel like that's where we're at. So, yeah. Okay. No problem. So, um, okay, let's see. We're, we're going to try to find you somebody. <laughs> yes. I haven't been in the dating pool for a while. Okay. It's Okay. So you, you got to help us so we can narrow down what you're looking for. So uh, you're looking for a man. How old does he need to be? Actually, how old are you? I'm 21. 21. Okay. Oh, wow. I didn't even know you were that young. Okay. I, I turned 22 in August. I'm Leo. Okay. So um, what's the age range that you're okay with uh, dating? The highest I've dated was 30. 30 and what's the youngest the youngest i've dated was like 25 26 okay is that where you want to stay or you're open to younger yeah i don't i don't really like dating people around my age because it's like some of them are still kids if that makes sense mm -hmm. for sure um, but i would stay between the ages of you know 25 so i'm gonna say 33 no higher than three. <laughs> okay 25 to 33 okay um can he have kids no no okay do you have kids no i don't okay uh what else how tall does he need to be tall tall enough i need to be able to jump i need to be i need to be able to do everything 
Okay, uh, <laughs> everything. So how tall are you? I'm 5'4". Okay, so is 5'6 okay? No. What's okay? Six, six and taller. You can't, you can't be the same height as me. I don't care if it's 5'10". 5'10 <laughs> <laughs> is still not the same height. But it's still in the five feet category. No, I need six feet and higher. Okay. How much money does he need to make? Um, honestly, as long as he's able to financially um, take care of his, what he, sorry, then um, that should be good enough for me. I'm not really, when I look, um, for a guy, I don't really look at his pockets. That's not like the first thing I look at. It's in my, it's in the back of my mind. You know, it's like secondary to me. Okay. Um, but yeah, as long as he can take care of himself, that that should be fine with that. Okay. Uh, what is one of uh, the main characteristic you're looking for? Personality. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm a pretty funny person myself. Like I like to laugh. I love laughing. I love smiling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, somebody that brings happiness. Cause that's what I give. Okay, that's what you bring. <laughs> you bring happiness. <laughs> I bring happiness and a lot more. Okay, but yeah, okay. I mean one. Uh, what about ethnicity? Do you have a preference? Um, not really. Not really. So black, white, Asian, anything. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, um, would you like to tell us a little bit about your hobbies? Um, one of my main hobbies is running. I love exercising. I like taking care of my body, which I feel like a lot of people on my social media platform can tell. But um, that's, that's I like working on my body a lot. Okay. All right. Well, um, we're, we're going to try. So just so you know, I'm going to bring a man at a time. And you can say, you can ask him question. He's going to ask you questions. And if you're not feeling the vibe as like romantic vibe, you can just say pineapple. If you think you like him, <laughs> if, if you think you like him a little bit, you know, you can say, you can slide in my DMs and then you finish the conversation there, you know? Okay. So, and also there is an instant pineapple. So maybe you're talking too long and people don't want you to hook up with that guy. They're trying to save you, whatever. They can just send a $20 super chat and um, they will pineapple the guy for you. <laughs> okay. Like that. All right. So, so we're going to start. Don't be scared. Never. Thank you. Never. Okay. All right. Let's see. I have talked to Tommy. Hi, Tommy. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? They're doing excellent this evening. You said what? I said doing excellent this evening. That's good. So I was watching like the video and everything else. And, like, you know, the guys you're interested in and things of that nature. So, hmm, how would I put it? Would you say that, like, you're the type of person that's always, like, keeping your options open or what? Um, Honestly, I do always keep my options open only because um, I've been through a lot when it, came, when it comes to relationships. Like, I really been through a lot. And I don't look at it as a bad thing. The reason why I keep my options open is because I never, like, I, I don't know how to say it, but I never expect too much from a person, if that makes sense. You know, I got you. And got it's you. definitely, I'm going to say that it's definitely because I do have a wall up. So I'm not like, yes, I am interested in finding somebody for me, but I'm not interested in just rushing into it. You know what I mean? Like with me, it takes time. So yeah. I got you. So what would you say would be like, what's like a few or if like one definitive factor whenever you're looking for a partner? Um, like I said, personality is it, is something that really catches my my eyes like the first like off bat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you could be you. and not have personality, but then you could be not my type and have everything I'm looking for. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel I feel that I feel that. 
So what's like some questions? I, I love being asked questions myself. You know what I'm saying? What's yeah. what's some questions you may have? Okay. Um, my first question is what what um what is like one of your hobbies? What do you enjoy? What makes you happy? My hobbies automotive. So like I'm a big car guy. So mm-hmm. I've worked sixteen industry sixteen years in the industry of automotive. Uh, collision repair, so like drifting, street racing, drag racing, like things like that. Like that's that's some things that like keep me going. That's funny because I I, I like to put a little gas on the pedal sometimes. Wait, hold on, wait. She got a left foot up out here. Hold <laughs> on. Let me find out. She got a left foot up out here though. Wait a minute. Now here's the definitive question though. Can I fall asleep with you driving? If I can't fall asleep while you driving, that means I'm here for my life. I, I, my life is on the line. I'm scared. The only thing like, playing left and right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. legit. Look, I just want to know I can fall asleep and just know that you got the wheel. You know what I'm saying? Make sure we ain't got to let Jesus take the wheel up out here. Look, yeah, I'm just saying. Jesus might have to take control of me. Shit. Oh, Lord? <laughs> oh, hey, wait. Do I need to pineapple? Lord, uh, look. I feel like I'm fearing for my life a little bit. Uh, look. So what would you say is the most, like, craziest thing that you've done in the past year? Um, I almost ran somebody over. Look, I've been hit by a car. You can't say that to me on it. Look, I've been ran over by a car. You can't say. Oh, hell no. Nah. Look, come on now. What in the ham saying? How did you almost hit somebody? Or was, did you actually hit them? It was in New York. So when I'm in New York, I like to, like, the daredevil in me comes out because, like, when, when I was in college, me and my friends, we used to go to New York. And uh, we were just we used to just run every red light because in New Jersey, like in Jersey, I'm I'm used to running those red lights. Like I don't care, especially this two in the morning. Who am I waiting? Like who am I waiting at the red, the red light for? Like I'm not waiting ten minutes at the red light. Pedestrians, light. that's who you waiting oh, on. Uh, what morning? Nobody. Nobody. Lord have mercy. Okay. All right. Bet. Okay. But um, intrigued. Oh Lord. God, I don't have a body, you know. But um. I'm gonna I'm, call you Brandy up out here. Okay, you Miss Moesha. <laughs> okay, Miss Moesha today. Okay, I I'm got you. Crazy driver, but I'm more precautious now. I bet, 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 bet. So, like, when it comes to like kids, like, what what is your take on having children? Um, I always said that I was gonna have kids when I'm like 24, 25. 24, 25. Okay, cool, cool. All right, okay. So what are some of your hobbies besides just running, taking care of the fitness, anything outside of that? Um, I like, I love nature. Not even like, I love um, nature. I'm very spiritual. Um, if any day I could go to the, to the lake, I'm going to go to the lake. If I'm, if I can go to the river, I'm going to go to the river. Okay. I, I like that's why I love that I live by a river. Some days I just go there and I sit next to the, you know, you just be at one with yourself and your surroundings. That's me. Okay, bet. So when you say spiritual, does that include kind of like the wave on maybe like, you know, Mary Jane spiritual, mushroom spiritual, or more so just like a sober hot spiritual? Can that? I'm at the point now where it's sober too, but uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. okay, all right, okay. So, so what you're saying is you on the wave, but can't say that you on the wave is what you're saying. <laughs> All right, okay, whatever that means. <laughs> all right, bet. Okay, all right, shrub that off and keep pushing. Okay, bet. Bet, look, look, I'm I'm certainly intrigued to jump in some more DMs and have some more intellectual conversations further. I don't want to hold up the time if you know what I'm Well, the 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 send that pineapple for you, uh Tommy. Sorry, but uh I know he was just <laughs> so the, 
saved you. I don't know if you needed saving, but um, Mr. Miyagi was like, time is up. So, <laughs> so do you, should he come to your DMs? What did you feel? Did you like him? Um, he's definitely somebody that you could have conversation with. Like, I would probably call him to vent about a crazy day at work or something, you know? Okay. So it's more like a friend? Yeah, more like a friend. Okay. All right. Uh, I have a request. Uh, since you were late, people are asking if you can do a 360. <laughs> let me know. Let me tell you something. I'm in my outfit clothes, but. Okay. All right. <laughs> Guys, she did it. Um, <laughs> so let's see. We, we got more people for you. We got, uh, oh, JJ is here. Hello. What's going on? No, you was, you was the one talking a little, you, know, <laughs> you was the one talking a little shit. I wasn't talking shit. Look, look, look. Everybody in the chat, everybody in the chat was saying, look, there's a principle. You gotta respect people's time. You gotta tell people what it is. So, you know, I was saying, like, you know, we can reschedule just later and not give you an exception. That's all I was saying. <laughs> Damn, you explained it. You explained it too. You said you're working at the hospital. That's different. That's cool. I did say, yeah. You know, sometimes life life's, you know. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned that that was like an internship and then now it's like a part-time job. And then I also saw you was like trying to get into singing. Like, what are you really trying to do? I'm trying to do everything in life. I'm not going to lie. I got my eggs in a lot of baskets right now. <laughs> but um, with the singing, singing is not really a career. Like, it's not something that I want to turn into a career. It's, you know, something that it's like an, the artistic side of me, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like. Apart from the modeling and the pictures and this and that, I want people to know, like, okay, I actually, you know, I do this, you know? But it's not something that I'm going to take seriously. What would you say you are taking seriously? The business side of me. I do, I have a hair business um, oh, hair. in a few weeks. Um, and, you know, I just want to go big on that more so. Like, I love doing hair. Hair is always, has always been a thing that I've done, like, growing up. You know how to retwist dreads? How are you making that face? <laughs> because <laughs> something funny just came up in my head. Okay, well, um, <laughs> Jay Jones, uh, you say that's, I guess, because what's his name is JJ, too. I don't know what he's talking about. That's me. I end that again. He said he blocked him off because his name is JJ. I, I guess. No, we. The, the, that's a no, no. We can't have that. Yes. Um, but JJ might come back up. We'll see. We'll see if he still if he comes back around. We got more for you. Uh, hi, Mike. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's that? Kamora. Oh my god. That's the first thing. Just don't ever call me by my name. <laughs> Oh, you don't, you don't like it? You want me to change it? No, 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 not 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 you. It's like when guys sometimes I don't like when they well just in general. I like when everybody calls me K. Okay, K. <laughs> Got it. I go right. by I go by Mike, but my first name is Imante, so yeah. But uh I heard you from uh Jersey, right? Yeah, Jersey. I was born out that way. What well, part? Camden. <laughs> Sorry if I sound a little out of breath for me. It's my third time. I'll be lifting weights while I'm waiting. It's my third time being on here. So Fine. you won't have enough breath to speak to me. I know. I didn't know I was about to be up next. So that's the only thing. But uh I'm glad I'm talking to you right now, you know. But um what part of church are you from? I live, you know where Edgewater is? It's like west, like northwest. Yeah. It's up more up north. Okay. Um, how tall are you? Was you listening before? I wasn't here. You wasn't in here? No. Oh, well, I'm five four. Five four. Okay. You got like a certain height that you're looking for as far as guys that you're dating, or uh, you know I mean? it's more about personality. You gotta be. I mean, it's about personality, but that height gotta be there too. You gotta be six feet and taller. Okay, I'm six four, so. I mean, I feel like I, I meet that thresh, but I'm like, I'm I'm on the heavier side. I'm like 303, you know. You like pineapples? Oh, she said it. 
<laughs> you didn't like it? I don't know. It was no. just very boring. Okay, got you. All right, guys, she wants somebody fun. Well, somebody was trying to help you. It's too Maybe. late. You it. What's your credit score? Uh, do you know your credit score? Do you want to tell us? That's for my that's for my business and my business only. <laughs> <laughs> it's paying my bills. So. All right, let's see. I got OT. Hi, OT. Your mic is off. Your mic. mic. That was cracking. Show you what you want, bro. <laughs> Why you laughing? What the fuck? You know him? Nah, she don't know me. What the fuck? You from New York? I'm from Iraq. I'm from Iraq. Where are you from? I'm from Jersey. From Jersey? We How gonna old? come and blow New Jersey up. Oh, phone that what keeps saying? Pineapple. Yeah, no, pineapple. No. <laughs> Why are you coming with all that crazy energy? He was trying to, to sing the song. Let me see. We get Omari. Hi, Omari. What's going on? Hi. London in the building. Are you telling me? London. Right. It's late. For, uh, it's early for you, huh? 100. Very early. So we're like coming to four. Mm -hmm. It's four o'clock right now for you in the morning. Yeah, I'm an early bird. Finna go to the gym. At four in the morning? Yeah, no one else is in there, innit? What? Well, the, the earliest I would go to the gym is eight. You love to be amongst people, don't you? Mm. Pineapples. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Bye. Let me see. We got Chad. Chad, hello. Hello, Melly. Hello, Kay. Pineapple. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I don't, he wanted to show us his teeth, I guess. I got um, no. uh, live by Leo. Do do. We can see you, sir. Yeah, put your light on. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, let me turn this down real quick. How you girls doing today? Can you turn the light on? Not the brightness. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Pineapple. It's come dark as hell. Well, turn the light on in your car. <laughs> Like, there's a light in the car. He said, let me turn my brightness up. Fuck the light in the car. <laughs> see, that's dumb. That's dumb. Let me see. Um, I have Rick. Hi, Rick. How you doing? Good. How are you? How, how you doing? I'm doing good. Okay. How old are you? You look young. I'm 27. Oh, you're 27. <laughs> <laughs> Where yeah. you from? Chicago? Now nah, from Memphis. That was so far away. I have a. I used to date a guy out in Memphis. Y'all accent is so strong. Sometimes I don't understand what y'all say. What do you mean, man? Is you, it? You could. You 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 ain't know what I said then. No, nah, I I got really listened to it. That's that's the thing. I got really listen. Word. I ain't gonna hold you though. I usually do this shit, but I went to your Instagram. I saw you motherfucking be in the studio type shit. Sing, you rap or something. What you do? Um, I sing and do a little. It's not really rapping, but I don't know what I call it. But I do more singing. Word, word, word. I ain't gonna hold you though. You look taller than than five four for real. Well, she's coming back. She's probably getting a call. Yeah, she's trying to give me a bob here. No, <laughs> oh my. Yeah. You said what? But now, is he trying to give me a bob on the sleep? Pineapple. <laughs> I don't know what he said. <laughs> you don't know what he said. I can't, like, it's nothing against them, but it's like sometimes I can't understand it. Okay. All right. We got, we got more. Uh, Randy Mo. Hello. Ooh. Can't hear you. Stop. Randy, we can't hear you. Yeah, mic on. Hi, Ben. Randy, <laughs> That's crazy. What's crazy? Hi, Ben. How you doing? How y'all doing? Good. How are you? What's your name? Kamal. Nice to meet you. Where you from? From Jersey. From Jersey. 
Eh, bupa. Hmm? Bupa. Han. <laughs> Stop. Why? Because you didn't understand. He said what part? I don't know. Like, he was like, he just said what part? Like, why are you being aggressive? Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Pronto, NDO. No? Okay. <laughs> he said, uh-uh. Omari Jamal, you're here? No? Guys, if you don't come with a picture, I'm going to kick you out. Hi, Marcus. What's going on? How are you? I'm all right. How are you? What's going on, Kay? What's up? Learn chilling. Damn, I ain't going to ask all the other questions everybody else has been asking. Because you are from Jersey. I'm from Mississippi. You are, what else you said? You do a little bit of, uh, you work as a, as a nurse, uh, not a nurse, but uh, you release people from, what'd you say you do again? You release people from post-op surgeries and stuff? Coming out of post-op. Got you. Um, what else you said? Marcus, what you got to say? Uh, I'm glad you heard what she said. Huh? <laughs> what I'm just trying to make sure I go through everything that every, everybody else was saying. And I'm kind of nervous. Though. You you, what it, let me see the fit. You got You got a champion sweat, sweat, sweat suit. It's just, a, it's just a hoodie. So I'm like. Pineapple. <laughs> Why? It's just, it's just you. I'm like, I don't know. It wasn't giving me interest in. Okay. Uh, we got Kenny Williams. Hello. Hello. Come on, survive, Millie. I'm good. Thank you. How uh, are you? Ça va bien. Ça va bien. Dad. What's up? How are you doing, Kamar? Pineapples. Sorry. No. Oh, it's reminding me of my dad. I'm like, why? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> let me see. I have Jameer. Jameer? Your mic is off. What's up? No, it's off again. <laughs> you turn whatever you did to turn it off again. That's what you need. Yeah, that's it. you're good now. We don't hear you. All right, cool. How y'all doing? Oh, good. How are you? Can you show your face, please? The same face time. Thank you. <laughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> oh okay. Well, uh, let me see. Omari seems to be ready. Hi, Omari. Oh, we talked to you already, right? Yeah, we spoke already. I got pineapple from the get go. Yes, yeah, she pineapple you. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's cool. I'm okay. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. JJ is back around. Hi, JJ. <laughs> I can't believe it. I cannot believe that shit. That, but my own, my own Kimpo, because my last name is Jones too. What are you talking about? I'm ugly. He gonna get me off the shit. That's crazy, that was, bro. Thirty. It's okay. Was you? Was you, What do you think? Am I ugly enough to get pineapple? What do you think? Um, it's not like I said. I don't pineapple off looks really, but if it's like something that's off, I'm gonna be like, all right, pineapple. You know? Yeah, exactly. Boy. Those niggas in the chat need to <laughs> get off my dick. Why are they tripping? That's crazy. <laughs> That's fucked up. So, um, JJ, what is your best quality when you're in a relationship? I would say I really just try to help elevate my partner. You know, like I'm, I got goals and I got ambitions too. So as I'm learning things, I like to try to share it with whoever I'm with. Like I'm trying to rise and gain and bring whoever around me with me, friends, relationship, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, one question that I do have. Um, how do you handle like um disagreements? Really, the best way is communication. I'm the I'm the type to be more blunt in the sense that I just say how I feel and I'm not trying to like drop hints or I'm gonna act a certain way. I'm gonna just say, look, like that hurt my feelings, or I'm not feeling what you just did. Like, let's talk about it. I just like it. Do shit right away, because if not, I'll be resentful. My bad. Um, are you the type to like 
um, address something right then and there? Are you going to like wait, think about it, and then address it when at the right time? It depends because sometimes you do need to like think about what you're going to do. You can't just react. Mm-hmm. But then there's also certain times where like a line gets crossed and you have to address it in the moment. So, right. It's like a, you know. That's a fact. What did what did you did you say what you like doing on your free time or like a hobby? In my free time, yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they don't want you to to get yeah. out of here. Do you like him? Huh? Do you he like was, him? I don't know. To ask him a little bit more questions, but you know he was already. Okay, maybe maybe I'll be around still. Because if they get pineapple by the by the chat, they can come back around. Yeah. And tell you pineapple them for real. Hi, Trill. Hey, how you doing? I like it. How are you? How you, you doing? Pineapple, okay? No. Huh? My bad. <laughs> I thought she said pineapple. My bad. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay. We got, we got all the country people. You got what? There's a lot of country people on here. Yeah, we do got a lot of yeah. It's a cool vibe though. <clears throat> I like staying out here. I grew up out here. Um, what do you What do you do out there? Uh, I go to school uh, for process technology. Um, it's like dealing with like chemical processes in a plant. We got a lot of plants down here because, like, the way our infrastructure is set up in the state, we know for like agriculture and stuff like that. So it's a lot of plant work out here. Like industrial plants and chemical plants, stuff like that. Hey, is that something you see yourself doing forever, or like, do you have other hobbies that you? Uh, I have a clothing brand. Um, my plan is to take the money from the plant and put it into my uh, clothing brand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Trill. Um... LeBron James with the twenty dollars. You got us watching an e dating show. Seriously, what? Same guy that said, "Oh, when she come in here, she better pop some titties or something." <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're expecting from us. Uh, let's see, Randy. Did you figure hey, it what's out? Up? Oh, hey, can y'all hear me now? Yeah. How y'all ladies doing? Doing good. What you drinking? A little whiskey, little crown. And a Pepsi, in a Pepsi thing. Yeah, yeah, I, I like to be discreet. I like to be discreet. But hey, you know, I ain't even come on here because I know already know the chat gonna be hating hard as hell. I just wanna come on and tell you about me real quick. Okay. okay. Okay, I need you to do me a favor. Can you be more on the screen like me? Sorry, it's too much. Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. You know, they want to see some of your body, so it's like... Are you high? <laughs> yes. I'm high sometimes. And plus, my, I'm going to change my shirt because my strings keep falling. You want to change shirt? Okay. Take yeah. your time. Um, let's see. We got we got more people. Mm-hmm. I'll wait for you, though. They're like, do a 360 <laughs> now. <laughs> no, guys. This is not a porn site. Like... Oh. The fuck? Of course they would think that. Yeah, let's see. And the, I don't know. They're being picky tonight. Just take it off. You guys are out of control. Um, <laughs> Hell no. Seriously. Disrespectful. Okay, so so I'm a wait. I'm gonna wait until you come back to ask you that question because mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of people was asking were asking earlier. Let me see. Change your shirt on camera. No, guys. Why would you guys want to see that? That, that hey. is a horrific show. <laughs> okay? Question, no. oh, question. Do you do OnlyFans? I do not. Okay. Nowadays, it's a question I need to ask because I don't be knowing and then the guys go and find it no, out. They, they just assume because my Instagram. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's a funny summation, though. Yes. <clears throat> saying she's lying. <laughs> Why would she be lying? She would want to promote that shit on here. Exactly. But it's like, 
the reason why they're saying that is I've had people create fake accounts of me. Oh, really? Yeah, all the time. Yeah. All right, what you doing? You you putting? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. Um. Okay. So okay, they were talking about your booty, so they they want to know. <laughs> you already know. So. So it's real. Yes, I'm all natural. The only thing that I've have done on me is my lips. That's it, and I've only got one. One syringe. Okay. Because they were talking in the chat. They were like, she got a BBL. Ah. Wish. Okay. I wish. So you don't need it. <laughs> Shit. No. It's right. I don't. But Well, guys, she told you. It's no BBL. It's natural. What is her IG? Oh, you guys need to go check it out now, huh? Here. Right here on the screen. Go check, her, check it out and follow. Because them pictures. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. We got more people for you. Uh, Perison. Hi, Perison. Hey, what's up? Hey. What's up? Hey, why are you curving all these niggas like that? Huh? Why are you curving all these niggas like that? Like, pineapple, pineapple. Why, why, why is that a question I should have? Huh? I said, why is that a question I should have? I don't know. I'm just wondering. You worried about but, you worried about the next one to get pineapple? I'm not worried, but hey, let's forget about that. It, it was it a pineapple or no? Yes. Okay. That's the first thing you asked me. He is worried. Somebody said your next buddy. Yep, he was next for sure. Uh, okay. Did you come back with some light? Life oh. by Leo. You got yeah. light what? Yeah, I got some light. All right, how you girls doing? No, pineapple. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> we can't really see you. It's blurry as fuck. Drew Fasa, hello. Uh, damn, what's going on? Shut up, I go to sleep. Oh, anyway. <laughs> Yo, Miss K. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing, lady? I'm doing lovely. I'm doing good. As you can see, I'm tired of the motherfucker. I came on here anyway to see what. Hey, wait a minute. How old is you? I don't think I caught that. Twenty-one. Show you, you young, young. God damn. I'm but, young. Or is way up there. Huh? Am I? What? Okay. Since you're a male, why? Mm -hmm. When 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 if somebody says they're twenty-one, why do you guys say like? I understand it's like okay, it's like okay, she's twenty-one, but why do you guys be like oh, like you're you're young? Yeah, I mean, cause um. How old are you? Well, I'm 34. So, so what is that? Is that old as hell to you, or what? No, I dated guys that was 30. Okay. Now, when we, so when we um hear 21, it's just they're like, damn. We just want to um kind of wonder where your mindset is at. But hearing you talk, you seem like you're a little bit mature. You look a little bit like like a little a, good, a cool 25 though. So I didn't know you was like 21 and shit. But anyway, I do got a question for you though. Yes. Hey, if um, fuck, what the fuck was my question? Got me. Sorry. Yeah, my bad. First, let me say something. Nigga, at least thirty. Let me say something about myself. Melly, would you say something? Yeah, I say. What was your question? I don't know if I missed it. Yeah, I was about to say. Oh yeah, I was about to say. It's kind of wild. If I had like. If I had like two hundred bodies, like would you want? Would, would you would you fuck them? I don't think that should matter. Okay, cause some um some chicks think it do matter. Are you? If uh, it depends though, because if you're still messing with those two hundred bodies yeah. while you're somebody, now that's different. But if they yeah. from the past and they in the past, and that's there's nothing. That's yeah, man, cause you never know, man. We could we could be a changed man now. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no fucking 200 bodies. That was just, I was just, that was just throwing that shit out there. Hell no. How many you got, Jufasa? I'll say about like, probably like a good 19 or 20, some shit like that. And I'm 34, so I'm like, huh? I'm around the same. Not, not 19, but maybe like 17. Yeah. 17, yeah. You know, shit, I'm 34, man. So like, 
They ain't too bad. I don't think they ain't too bad. That's probably like an average or some shit. It's life. Who's who's now? You know? Yeah. Hey, but anyway, look, I'm from Detroit. I live in Georgia right now. You ever been to Georgia? Yes, I have. All right, cool, man. Well, listen, I'm, 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 I might share. I might want to fly you out, man. We'll show you some, show you some things you've never seen before. You call huh? me, man. What you say, pineapple? Yes. I don't like when guys talk to me and they go, "Listen, man." Like, what? I'm not a man. <laughs> I know that's how they talk, but it's like I like. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm with you. I don't like when they say, "Bro," I'm like, "I'm not your bro." If we not friends, and unless, unless we're friends, right? But. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, all right. We we got more. Drufasa, you can say, bro. Oh man, I right. cranky, cranky, cranky lit. Yo, what up? What up? You hear me? Yeah, what you doing? And I'm in the crib and all that, yo. How you doing? How you from New Jersey? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Hey, I'm from New York City, from the Bronx. I know, I know you from oh, New York. Much, I'm right, right over the bridge. I'm yeah. right. Right there, small world pie, feel me? I don't really want to talk. I I see on in the crib. Now, I just came back from outside and all I had to handle some shit, you feel me? Gangster. The word. But yeah, I'm gonna cry. How you doing, Melly? Yo, it's nice to meet you. Nice. You know what I'm saying? It's a nice pleasure. To meet you. Now, from the Bronx, I do music and shit. Like, I'm gonna invest in the future. I'm trying to invest in something, I'm trying to get my money up, I'm trying to invest in stocks or real estate. Feel me? I already know what to do. Don't want to talk too much because you don't know who be wise on these lives. But anywho, anywho. <laughs> That personality, you feel me? You can really talk to me, but you feel me? I just feel like I want to, you know, live my single life for a reason. I feel like I'm gold pill, not red pill or blue pill. I'm a different type of character, you heard? You don't like him? He's talking so much about himself. He didn't even ask me uh, what's my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, okay, I get what you, who you is or everything, but like, <laughs> I'm like, he said, you don't know who watching. Okay. Um, New York niggas don't take back. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, stop it. I have some friends from New York. They, they smell good. No, yeah, some do. But a lot of them, they too cocky. You can't do that. Mm. All right, let's see. I got OT. OT, why is it black? I got to come up a little bit more. My bad. Right, why you try to play me though, gang? Oh, we talked to you earlier. Yeah, why she try to play me? Talking about crazy energy. I'm chilling for real. The way you came on. What you mean? What I do. Tell me what I did. Hey, what I see. All right, what you was asking me for? You pining up to me, though. Honestly, I don't know. But <laughs> you wasn't really talking, like, about yourself. Then, was like, what do you do? You ain't give me a chance. You got to give me a chance. If you're going to give me a chance, you feel me? I'm going to tell you about myself. What do you do? You said what? I said, I'm giving you a chance right now. What do you do? Well, I make, I make music. You feel me? I'm, you feel me? I, I, uh, I don't even want to talk too much about it, but like, I make music. I'm just say that. I just make music. You feel That's, me? Artist. Like, to say you don't talk about it too much, you make music. I mean, I'm, I'm like, what you want me to say? Like, shit, I hustle. I get money. You feel me? Like, I'm just hustling. You feel me? Like, you feel me? You, you don't like guys <laughs> hustle? Little into a whole argument. Okay. <laughs> uh, no. All right. I got the hammer. The hammer. I don't see your face right now. Hey, Monte. Hey, what's up, Kay? <laughs> You're too close. <laughs> no. What was, was that? No. What was that? Oh, so uh, what's your favorite color? <laughs> what? What's your favorite color? Funny. It's yellow. Yellow. Okay. Emonte, back up a little bit. Thank yes. You. Thank you. <laughs> he backed up all the way. No, it's too far. Now. <laughs> a little <laughs> bit instead. Like that? Yeah, right that's, there. That's fine. All right. So, yellow. Okay. My favorite color is red. Yeah. Okay. And green. But it's not related to Christmas. What's your favorite holiday, though? He said it's not. <laughs> Why did you say Christmas? It's not related to Christmas. Like, but what's your favorite holiday? I said it's funny because 
favorite holiday is Christmas. <laughs> oh, I got my volume turned down a little bit too low. But you said your favorite holiday is Christmas. Okay. Is there like a particular reason or? Because I feel the holidays that you spend more time with your family other than Thanksgiving. Yeah. That's one of the reasons Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. That's good. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Camden, South Jersey. You was you was just up here, right? Uh, no, nah, that was probably my twin brother. Me and him both be coming on. Here. Was you? What do you no, mean? You nah. just your glasses and thought you didn't thought I wasn't gonna recognize something. Nah, I'm being serious. Like that was probably my twin for real. What's your twin's name? Mike. He be going by Mike, but his name's <laughs> Damani. Tell a picture of uh, when you guys were babies. You said Baby. I got pictures of when we were babies. Yeah. Like in my possession, or like, cause I can Are share you them house right now. You said what? Are you in your house right now? Yeah. With him? Have a picture of like you and your sibling. No, not hanging up or nothing like that. No. Wait, are you with him in the house? No, Is he's it? not here right now. He got his own place. Oh. <laughs> he's he's still actually. I think I'm pretty sure he still stay with his with his folks. I don't know. With, with, our, with our parents. Pineapple, cause you're lying to me. Pineapple. I think he's lying. I don't yeah. like I <laughs> he's lying. <laughs> Somebody said multiple personalities. <laughs> no, his no, lips no. crusty, his breast tank. You knew all of that. You guys. was a changed person. Boy. He was. Hi, Justin. Hey, how y'all doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing very well. So I have a question for you. Um so out of these three options, you only get to keep two. You got looks, loyalty, and money. I'm sorry? I said you have looks, loyalty, and money. You can only keep two. I have looks, loyalty, and money, and what? As far as looking at, looking for a man, looks, loyalty, and uh -huh. money, you can only keep two. Looks, um. Loyalty and money because I don't really care too much about looks. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so you say you're from New York, correct? I'm sorry? Well, Jersey, I'm sorry. You say you're from Jersey, correct? Mm hmm All right, as far as looking to accord with someone, as far as the future, would you be willing to move? Um. Yeah, I am planning on moving out of Jersey eventually. Okay, okay, okay. This and no. <laughs> Mr. Wu with the twenty dollar talking about broke Mike Epps. Okay, well Mike, uh, Mike Epps. Sorry, Justin, uh, you can come back around if, um, if you if you want to keep talking a little a little long. Love this late night show. Are you guys like this time a little more? Um, yeah, but you were mad at me earlier because <laughs> you didn't tell us extra, extra. You know, you didn't tell us. That's why they were mad. Uh, hi, Money. Sapa say. Hey. In your hand. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, Mr. Cake Me, hello. Hey. What is it? I'm just going to say this. Uh, you double cake the then two white people on Sunday. Yeah, pineapples. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. Once they say, let me just say this. Gotta mm -hmm. go. Papa Oji. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo. Yeah. Um, hey, so hold on. I'm going to try to guess your, your Zodiac sign, your sun sign. Can I, can I try that shit? Go ahead. Okay, so. Damn. Damn. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just guess I'm gonna guess either Gemini, Taurus, or or like or like Pisces. No. <laughs> Straight. Oh. Can, can you give me like a clue, like like a little like a little hint? I just said it. Wait, what you said? I'm a Leo. You a Leo? Shit. That's cool. I mean, I don't know. Like, I was just I was just trying to see what your zodiac sign is. You feel what I'm which you which you uh which which you guess mine is? It's pineapples. Pineapples. 
Guys, why are you coming out here talking about signs? I think talking about signs is more for women. And when the guys start talking about signs, I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Right. Joquel is back around. Hello. Man, why they, why they uh, booting me off here? I don't know. They didn't like you. Oh, man. But... Like I was saying at first, I go to a school to be in a play. I got a clothing brand, and I'm going to take the money put it into the clothing brand. It's been successful, but with, like, schooling and whatnot, it's been hard to, like, keep up with it like I want to. So That's good. Yeah. What you do? Um, I run a hair business as well as I do modeling and music and everything else. I'm you sorry. Will, can you turn up the TV? Oh, okay, yeah, my bad. My bad. <laughs> yeah, it's a little loud. Watching over there. Oh, no. Where is your girlfriend? My girlfriend. Huh? Yeah, where's that? I don't have a girlfriend. Why? Um, I've been taking time to myself as of late. Um, I haven't been doing the whole like relationship thing. I was in a relationship like two years ago. She was mm -hmm. from Beverly Hills. Um, it was it was cool while it lasted, but it ain't, it just ain't work out. <laughs> you just hit us with the she's from Beverly Hills, and what what did she do? Like what end? Uh, she went to Grambling University. Um, she's in school to become a doctor. Um, mm -hmm. but we had like broke up or whatever. Um, I don't really want to get into it. Oh, okay, I was like, I know, I felt it. But, um, yeah, hey, hey. we've grown since then. We still cool though, but we don't. What huh? you camera. My, my camera. camera. My phone is short. You be forgetting yourself. My phone. Fine. Oh, got you. Sorry. No problem. Good. Yeah. Good. No. Yeah. Oh no, it wasn't for you, chill. Oh, you. no bad. So yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm bad. No, you were fine. Um, oh, what was I, what was I gonna ask? What kind of music you make? Um, it's like r and I make love songs. From like personal experiences or are you just being creative? Um, sometimes it's from experiences, but some, uh, most of the time I just get creative with it. Have you ever like released like tears making a song? Does it ever get that personal? Definitely. Yeah. With a cup of, you know, with a cup of some wine, comes out the tears just start rolling out as you know as you take the drink mm, yes. so do you drink wine i'm a wine drinker yeah I'm, i have one right that's why you're so mellow it's so i'm naturally like this though it's not really? okay. yeah I'm so, sometimes i i can be bubbly you know i like bubbly bubbly is nice um I know, like, for, like, Louisiana people, like, I, the perception on us is, like, we, like, rowdy. A lot of people say we country. Um, yeah. I mean, we are such. I mean, we is in the South, but um, it's just, what? like, sometimes a negative perception on us that I don't really like. You um, guys are on family. That's what I like about um, you guys. Yeah. Very My little nice. sister here right now, I thought she would have walked through the camera by now, but. <laughs> yeah. Do you have You said no. No, I don't have kids. I'm 24. I turned 24 in May, May 16th. And um, so, you, so you still a younger like me? Yeah, I seen one dude on here. He was like 35 or something, which is yeah. crazy. But um, so like, what are your plans in like future wise for like the next five years? Um, do well, you want to pursue music? That's really what I want to know. Do you want to pursue music? I don't think so. I think yeah. I just make music like for myself like as a it's like a way to vent for me you know yeah it's so it's like therapeutic for you yes because um sometimes i get shy and i bottle up and i don't like speaking to people about my um problems because you all know how that goes they always throw it back in your face so um in a way like i'll tell it through the music but you'll never really know you know that yeah I mean, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I'm real interested in music. I have friends who make music. I don't make music myself. Um, mm -hmm. I thought about songwriting, but I just ain't never tried. I tried clothes instead, and I like clothes. So, um, okay. Well, I mean, so what do you want to pursue? 
is there anything that you want to pursue? Um, I just want to pursue the business side of me. Like, I do have a hair business. Um, I'm about to launch it in two weeks. And that's just, you know. You talking about like wigs, extensions? What are we talking about? I'm talking about everything. <laughs> wigs, extensions, clip-ins. Tre- hair care, like, like uh, leave-in conditioners and stuff like that? Or right now, hair just, itself? Right now, I'm just focusing on, like, selling the hair. And I feel like as I grow, I'll, I want to come out with, like, with my line for the natural, like, for people with their natural hair. So right. that, I would have, like, my natural hair products, you know, shampoo, conditioner, all of that. Okay. That's cool. That's how interesting. You got a name for it? Um, It's called Rare Beauty by K. Okay. So, I like that. Right. <laughs> so look, I already know how her show go because I've been watching. So I'm gonna give you my Instagram, and if mm-hmm. you want to continue to talk, we could DM on that. I got schoolwork to do, so I can't be on here all day. Okay, most definitely. Feel my like- Instagram is trillquill underscore. Simple, easy. Uh, what? Trillquill, like it on it, like it is on the display underscore. Okay. Gotcha. You can write it, write it down, write it down. All right, I'll write it down. <laughs> don't forget neither. I'm, I'm gonna follow you too, cause I'm gonna catch us. But <laughs> don't, don't like, don't you know? All right, true. And I'm not whispering. This is really just how I talk. I don't, uh, uh, unless I'm like yelling or something. And yeah. All right. So. I got it. All right. Well, thank Where's you, Joe <laughs> You have a good night. You too, Melly. I have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, that's the first one. Did you like him? Yeah, it was, you know, it was all right. Okay. It seemed like he didn't, he wasn't trying to do too much. Like, he was himself. True. All right. Um, all right, the, the chat is saying that 17 guys at 21 is crazy. What do you think? Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy to them. It wasn't crazy for me. <laughs> that's their that's the opinion. I don't care. All right. Hey, you do what you do. Everybody lives life. Let's see. I got uh, Zaire. Zaire, are you here? No? Okay. Uh, Juju? You here? So we see your face or your head. <laughs> I see it. I saw a roach, I think. <laughs> okay, never mind. Sleep season. Hello. Oh, shit. Yes, sir. How we doing, Kay? What, am I on a show or something? <laughs> Me. <laughs> you on a show right now? You like, oh. I ain't on no show. I'm on a love show, you know, if that makes, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, what you doing right now? What I'm doing right I'm talking to you. That's what I'm doing. Okay, but... <laughs> What are you doing right now? Because I see a light in the back. That's just a sign. That's just a sign. You know, just decorations kind of weak. But you know, that's besides that. Just focus on me. Ignore that. Ignore all that. What you what's what you got going right now? This. This, this. Where you from? From Jersey. Jersey. I can hear that. Y'all definitely do got an accent. Y'all more aggressive up there? What accent do you hear, sir? I hear Jersey accent. You don't hear like that, that uh they said no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next no, girl is back. Good night, sir. They are so funny. <laughs> Did you like him? Maybe? maybe? No. No. Okay. Uh, all right. So, so no. I got a uh, holy water. Look at her. Hey, look at her. Oh my fucking god, man. Oh shit. <laughs> Why, he hey. <laughs> Why he ran to the couch? Laying down, laughing. He's like, all right. Give up. I'm done. All right, let's see. I got holy water and green tea. Hello. Yo, what's up? What's happening? Nothing much. How are you? I'm doing okay, you know. Are you going to speak? Uh, I wanted to do something real quick, you know what I'm saying? See if y'all like it or not. You know, I'm going through a hangover right now, so I'm <laughs> kind of fucked up. Well, she, she's not with it. <laughs> I thought it was like a love song for me. Me too. He said he was going to sing, I think, but never mind. 
He said a hangover. That's kind of crazy. Maybe he had a song for a hangover. <laughs> NHL BA. Hello. What's good? How y'all doing? Good. How are you? I'm I'm good. Are you looking at yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay. And then Shell. Oh, I was like, where you went? Pineapple. Oh. A pineapple. Pineapple. Uh, you pineapple. Were trying to help you too. I, I can't see it no more. So, uh, no chill, girl. Talking about nothing is up. Um, let me see. So, no holy water, no NHL. Uh, we got P. Let's see. Oh, P is good looking. Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What's up, Miss K? How you doing, Melly? Hi. You're having a good time? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. This is hilarious. What? I don't know if y'all having a good time. Can y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, a couple questions, you know, as far as, you know, it's 2021, gender roles are kind of a thing or whatever. How do you mm -hmm. feel about your relationship dating a man as far as what you can bring to the table or as far as his roles or your roles? Are you asking like what I can bring to the table and what I would want a man to bring to the table? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to start off with what I can bring. I can, I'm basically an independent person, you know? I can provide for myself from the shoes on my feet, the socks on my feet, everything. So honestly, a man got to bring the right mindset he has to bring that positive energy. I can't deal with none of that. The argument. Now, I'm not good with arguments. I'm quick to be like, bye. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. But as soon as a man brings, like, if he's confident in himself, he brings, you know, if, like I said before, like, if a guy is financially stable and he can take care of himself, all he need to do is bring the, all that over here, you know, combine it, and, and it's a power couple, like. Good. And what could you bring to a man? Like, what do you add to him as far as your value? What do you want to know specifically? Because it's 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 a lot of categories like to it. We there can talk about emotions. We can talk about money. We can talk like what it, what is what is it that you really want to know that I can bring? I think as a man who kind of has his own, the biggest thing a woman can do is just things that promote peace like and add time to his life you know like i'm not saying you got to be the housewife but i mean if the nigga hungry or something maybe cook a little bit or i'm, I'm sorry uh p uh da just asking why you stop talking bro uh i don't know what's going on uh did you like him a little bit i don't know questions they weren't confusing but i feel like he wasn't really asking them correctly okay so i have a question the chat is going crazy spamming the number 17 oh <laughs> <laughs> they're there's talking about the bodies how i said so i had 17 bodies mm -hmm. i don't know why they're spamming right now guys please somebody tell me why you guys are writing 17 they think it's crazy they 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 don't they don't like how it doesn't add up with my age, <laughs> but I don't care because I had fun every single seventeen times. <laughs> Why does it matter? If they just feel like you might be young for all of that. So who's but it's it's crazy though because they don't even take into consideration at what age I lost my virginity. But I'm not gonna say that. Okay. I let I gotta let them them wonder. So it's, okay. it, keeps, it keeps the fun going. Yeah, they're out of control right now. Um, let, let me see. I have perfect timing. Hi. Yo, what's good, baby? How y'all feeling today? Feeling good. Good. How are you? Yo, um, I started off. So tell me, um, what's your ideal date? Your first ideal date, okay? I'm sorry. She's getting a phone call. <laughs> Show me back. Oh, okay, you can hear me? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, my bad. Okay, you're you're my question? No. 
right, my question is, what's your first ideal date? Mm. Yeah, that's your own. Like what you what you would want your first date to look like? Well, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Perfect timing, uh, Lizette Flores. Why you're trying hit on women that want to be men? What you're wasting your time? I see no alpha male reaching out on these Sims. I don't know. They decided you want to be a man. I don't know. Oh, because I'm I'm, so, I'm a little aggressive or something. I don't. Know. I don't know. They say number eighteen is FaceTime. <laughs> Chat, chat, you need to chill. Let me see. Uh, I got Jonathan. Hi, hey, Jonathan. what's going on? Your camera is a little easy, huh? Is that better? A little. Okay, so, okay. Um, so, what do you like to do for fun? <laughs> oh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> Pineapple. <laughs> Okay, okay. Somebody send a 20 to let us know. See, I'm not the only one. Okay, your no. face is getting covered by the comments. I'm getting motion sickness. <laughs> they're like, we don't see you. And somebody else, yo, they're going in tonight. Yo, they're, they're really shocked about the number. Oh. Uh, someone say, men don't care about independent boss women that just good for fun. They're just good for fun, only not to cuff. Also, fellas, cheer New Jersey girls being run through. That's not her fault. It was probably an accident. Whoa. Easy. Guys, they're aggressive. Chat, you need to chill. Uh, let's see, we got Mark. Hi, Mark. Your mic is off. Oh, we can't hear you. It's probably your headphones. Yeah, we can't hear you. Hey, you got light. It's it got darker. I don't know why. What? I said, do you have a, a bigger light, like a brighter light? It got no. darker. Okay, let me see. Uh, we got Ariel. Ariel, what's up? Your mic is off. There you go. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. yeah. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How you doing, Kamora? Kamora? That's how you say your name? Kamora, yeah. Kamora. I'm Ariel. Okay. How was your day today? It was all right. How was yours? It was cool. Uh, I had a lot of stuff to do and stuff. Um, that was it. Uh, you enjoying your time out here? On here? Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> What's fun about it? Seeing different, because I don't really talk to people for real. I really don't. So this this little interaction is quite interesting, you know? Are you, like, anti-social or something? Kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, what about you? What do you do? What do you do? Um... I do. I work. I have a business, and I also go to school. What are you in school for? Sports management. And what's your job? Uh, I have a business, so we do. We hold concerts for upcoming artists around my my state in uh, DC, in uh, New Jersey, New York, and stuff like that. And we're trying to move more towards Florida and stuff like that. So, are you like your own company? So, what are you like? Somebody can. Run, you, you show. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, oh, somebody coming to help you. Don't worry about what the chat says, Kay. You're very beautiful. She sure is. Um, the chat is just going insane. I can't even read everything. <laughs> yeah, it's insane right now. You, you did something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How, how, how do you feel? Because I don't know. I've Tell me if I'm wrong. Did did it hurt your feelings? What they're saying, like, because uh, I feel like your energy's shifted a little bit. Are you? Really? Okay? Are you? Because if you're not fine, we can stop the show. It's up to you. Wait, they really feel like my energy shifted. 
I feel that. And, and some, oh. some of them are saying, oh, she's her and stuff like that. How you feel? Because I'm not trying to have you feeling crazy. I, no, before, before I came on this, I smoked. So if my energy is dying down, it's probably because I'm getting tired. But none of, nothing about what I've been told worse. I've been through worse. Nothing that they can say in the chat is going to make me feel any type of way. Okay. <laughs> All right, good. Because, uh, yeah. It's okay. I don't really okay. Care. Just making sure you're okay, because I don't want you to feel any type of way because they're going a little crazy tonight. Let them have it. All right, cool. All right, we're going to find you somebody else. I got Tony. Hi, Tony. Yeah, what's up? Yo, shout out to that response. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, having that wall up, they trying to do too much. They worried about their body counts. You got your... That's just irrelevant. I'm very, like, I don't... I won't lie about nothing. <laughs> Body count doesn't mean nothing to me because it's not like I'm messing with 17 people right now. <laughs> so that's the past. I don't really care. You wasn't a victim. You wasn't picked up and played. I'm sure you you called you called to I play call on it. I, I understand. I, I can see that. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? How you doing? Is it, this is hilarious, but this whole shit has been funny as fuck. I know. This is this is the most I've laughed in a few days. Yeah. This, yeah. this is oh, good. Yes. <laughs> seeing the approach, seeing how, how people open up. Yeah, it's it's good. Um I had a question though. Nobody been talking about traveling. You 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 a travel person? You like you like catch your flights? I do. I do. If you had mm -hmm. to pick one place to go this weekend, where would you go? You said to go this weekend? Yeah, just travel the dog. I want to go to Paris. I, I I need that. I need that. Like, you I need before? that moment. I need you those been? aesthetic pictures. So I've you never, never been. All right. No. Go. I don't know, Millie. Have you been? I, I hear a French accent. Yeah, that's where I'm from. You're from French. Mm -hmm. the ways, if you're taking the train, don't play. Once the doors closing, get on. Because <laughs> Millie, am I lying? You get mm. trapped. You get, you, get, you get trapped over there. The the train will run. I lost my phone. I lost yeah. my phone trying to get off get off of a train in Paris. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, I keep my on my pocket. That's where mine was. was wow. The doors ain't playing. Tony, but where you from? Where I'm from, I don't even know how to answer that. Shout out to the people in the chat saying I'm black as asphalt. Yeah, I am. Shout out to that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out to the melanin people. I don't know what y'all skin colors is in there, but I'm happy about mine. Um, I live in Miami. I'm f I grew up in Boston, but my parents are from Barbados. So I like to say I'm from Barbados because it's really that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. really the house I was, I was raised in. Where's your, where's your family from? Come on. Um, my, mom is, my mom is Cuban and Colombian, and my dad is Japanese Guyanese. Ooh. God damn. A little mix. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever that concoction came up. I'm sorry, Tony. Yep, yeah. uh, they said no. Speech again, bro. Boring. Okay. Um, and uh, Mr. Miyagi, fuck out of here, White Clef. Okay. Um, they're going crazy tonight. Let's see. We we got more people. Hopefully, we're gonna find you somebody. Uh, Mr. 704, hello. Uh-uh, pineapples. No? No. No. Roger. Hey, what's up, Kay? It was hey, hot. what kind of car? What kind of cars you like? Huh? What kind of cars do you like? BMWs, anything that's fast. <laughs> so you like Hellcats? Love it. Love I, got that, I got that red key right now. You want to see me hit 100 real quick? I don't care. <laughs> I'm saying you want to see me hit 100? No. All right, 95, like three minutes away. Pineapples, go ahead. <laughs> That's the first. Somebody want to show how fast they go. Okay. Uh, me one. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you ladies doing tonight? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Yes. Yeah, I heard you were from Jersey. I got family out here. Oh, really? here visiting. 
Yeah, certainly. Yeah, man. Yeah, you have some nice features, by the way, you know? <laughs> Definitely, you know, the Guyanese and everything are mixed right, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely. If you could tell me three, like, are your best features, personality-wise, about yourself, what would you say it is? Um, I'm funny. That's I'm number funny. one. Yeah, um, that's good, that's I'm good. A heavy empath. Do you know what an empath is? No, tell it to me. So, I'm, I'm able to, like, when it comes to disagreements in a relationship, I'm mm -hmm. able to put myself in that other person's shoes and, you know, feel mm -hmm. how they And okay. I feel like that's, you know, a strong characteristic of myself. I love that about me. I'm very understanding. Okay, and considerate. I like that. You're funny, considerate. And what else? I'm smart. Smart. Very smart. I, I, I like I, that. Interesting plays. What do you do? I'm a truck driver. I'm a trucker. Mm. What do you sit? Are you sitting on the floor right now? I'm not on the floor. I'm not on the floor. On a couch? Are you on a chair? Yeah, I'm on some type of couch. Thing. I'm on my aunt house. I'm visiting. I'm in Patterson. Oh, you're in Patterson. Part of, yeah, part of Jersey. You in? Pineapples. Okay. No. Must be you. Zai, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. How y'all doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty good. Um, so pretty much, um, what do you do for work and things in that nature? I said earlier, um, I work in the hospital. I discharge patients coming out of post office. It was something okay. that was internship, but it's a part time job now. Okay. Okay. You did like um, what is it called? Like one of them like schools where you just go directly into that field that you want to do type thing. You said what? Like you chose to go into like one of those schools that put you into the fields that you want to do. No, um, back in school before I graduated, I was doing the internship, and it's something that I carried throughout college and everything. So when I graduated college, I just kept doing it and turned it into a part time job. Well, they okay, offered. Okay. Okay, okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. So, uh, how long did you expect to know how to uh, live in New Jersey and things in that nature? Um, I don't really have an exact date on when I want to move out of New Jersey, but hopefully by this year, I'll be out. Where are you trying to move to? I don't know yet. I felt that. <clears throat> Pineapples. No, not feeling it. I felt like I was talking to my little brother. He, he seemed young, so yeah. I don't know. Uh, let's see. The, the room is still full. People really want to talk. Scarface, hello. Hey, how y'all doing, ladies? Good. How are you? Can hello. You? Hey, Melly, I just want to say I really like your show, Melly Motors. Oh, I genuinely you. enjoy it. Thank you. How you doing, Kamora? I'm doing well. That's good to hear. So how you feel about hardworking black men? As everybody should feel about them, they hardworking black men. <laughs> well, I'm a blue collar baller, baby. Shit. How much money do you make a year? I'm 30 shy of 100K. Uh -huh. But that could change. Okay. I hope that ain't a deal breaker, is it? You a trapper? Say again? I say, is you a trapper? Am I a trapper? What yeah. you think? You, 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 you give it. That's what you say. <laughs> Color. I have a little hair. He's a chapter. Oh, yeah. You know, you know, grow my little hair. You feel me? Grow my dress, bro. I had to cut my shit. Yeah, I know. I got to go through the ugly phase. I used to sponge and shit. So. Yeah. I'm from Chicago, by the way. My name is Orlando. Pineapple. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I said it three times. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I said here. <laughs> that was, wasn't you. That was me. I said it too, too soft. Okay. Uh, I got life. Life, hello. Yo, what's good, y'all? How old are you? 25. 
What you not good what enough? You got, what you got going for yourself? College, work, family. I do it. I like doing everything. You know, I like to keep active, keep busy. I get bored real easy, so I like to fill my time in. Pineapple. You know. You don't know. What did you say? I don't, I don't know. He just, he was giving, he lives with his mom still. Okay. <laughs> Belly Patron is hot. If I get arrested, my bill yeah. can be Yo, what's up with him? How y'all feeling? Good. How are you? Shit, I'm well. Mr. Moore, how you feeling? He's reading. My bad. What did you say? Good. How are you feeling? Yeah, put your seat down down or do something. Right. Yeah. All right, I'll just call back. Yes. <laughs> no. He gonna no. get punished. <laughs> Don't call you back. Might not recognize him. We didn't see him. Uh Cold Moss, hello. Hey, what's good guys? How's it going? Oh my god, you sound like Kevin Hart. <laughs> Sorry. I sound like Kevin Hart. For a second you did. I don't know. I don't know my camera. Okay. Um damn. Uh, is it Kimura? Okay. Okay. Oh, nice to meet you, KMRC. How's your day been? Been good. Good. Um, so I tuned in kind of late. Uh, what are you looking for in a guy? Or I'm sure you've answered that question already, but can you answer one more time? Um, I'm somebody who's loyal. I really care about um loyalty, respect. I don't like being lied to. You know. Okay. Okay. I just want to add, I do love a little, you know, a little. I'm taking my ways. Uh, I'm going to be honest here. I like my hood guys. Okay. Okay. So, do you, um, you think you're a little hood or no? <clears throat> but when I say um, I was, not to cut you off, I'm sorry. But when I say hood, like, um, I can't really deal with like a soft guy, if that makes sense. You know? Like, I, I need a guy who's not afraid to pick up a gun and bust at somebody. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> not just because. It's just, be, you know? Well, if it helps, I got one. But um, why why, why did you say that comment? What makes you say that you need a hood guy? Because I felt like I didn't say it before. I forgot to. I feel like it's too, like, it's a lot of, well, in the past few guys that come up here, like, some of them just seem too sweet, you know? And, okay. Yeah. Do you feel that uh, that Marseille is hood enough? No. I don't know. Ask some more questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, she definitely feels like I'm hood enough. That's why she said that. But um, <laughs> anyway, uh, Kamara, let me ask you this. So you want a guy who could do all those things. Do you feel like a hood guy can do all that for you? How's that been for you in the past? I've been able to, 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 to bring that out of a hood guy. I'm not going to lie. Bring out of a hood guy. You've done what? I said I've seen the soft side of a hood like a hood guy that I've dated before. Okay. I was so, just curious. I was just curious and if it's been going okay, because if it's not, maybe you should try something different. Okay. We live. Mm. Okay. Um, so you're looking for all those things. What do what do you do? My I work at a hospital. Um, oh, very cool. Business. I model. You know, I do. I sing. Oh, you sing? Oh, many talents. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, all right. Let me ask you this then. Like, what's an ideal first date for you then? Like, what's something you would want to do on a first date with a guy? Um, I would say, like, something that's outdoors, like, that's more connected with nature. Sorry. I uh, don't want you to talk to him. Uh, Jose Perez. <laughs> Bro, you're a nice guy. She wants someone who can choke her out. Go talk to the Asian, what? Girl from last time. <laughs> Terrible. Mm -mm. That's not, uh, you like to be choked? Hell no. Okay, if so you you're wrong, Jose. I don't mm -hmm. like to just choke for no reason. Oh, but <laughs> if there is a reason, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got it. 
Uh, let's see. Love, no tatties. Sir, why are you showing us your TV? You guys be lame sometimes. Austin, Yo. hello. What's good? Yeah. How you doing? Doing all right. Where you from? From Jersey. So I'm from VA. How, how old is you? 21. 21, I'm 20. So what you be doing? Like, what, what you, you doing? Huh? What you be doing? I do music. That's it? Like, I do music and I work. What's your job? Or what but, you do? But, like, I'm trying to get into, like, sound engineering type shit. But what is it? Like, what? If you're not working on like, what's your job? So, I'm not, if I'm not working 9 to 5? Do you work a 9 to 5? Yeah. That's what I was asking. Like, what do you do? What is, what is that? But I work at Walmart. Okay. Do you aspire to grow? Who said what? Pineapple. You're too slow for me. Yep. <laughs> I'm over you. That, that, that's the hood. That's the hood that I don't want. No. No. Okay. They say Austin look musty. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, musty. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see. We got uh, who is Gucci? Gucci, you here? Your mic is off. Mic is up. Oh, it's on right now. It's on. Okay. How you ladies doing? doing good. Well. How are you? I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so Kay, uh, where you located right now? You say you in New uh you from New Jersey, but where you located? In New Jersey. Oh, you in New Jersey? Do you like to travel? Mm-hmm. My okay. Have you ever dated someone long distance before? No. Would you give that a try? No. Are you trying to no. tell me you since that's why you asked me? Uh well I'm in Nashville. Uh my name is Uche, by the way. Forget Gucci. Um just trying to know if you like to travel. Um if you want to meet up. Um I'm more personal oh, person. No, no. No. This ain't no mother freaking um That was what? too quick. That was too quick for you. Dark Knight 007 talking about she won a 6'5 hood dude that went to Harvard <laughs> <laughs> and he's about to be a neurosurgeon. They still sell weed on the side. Thank you. Right. That's what you are. <laughs> okay. Um, that's going to be tough, I think. <laughs> not, not in that exact form, but you know, I like an educated hood man. There we go. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's see. Darian, what are you doing? Why are um, you doing that? My bad. I ain't know y'all was on end. What's up, though? My bad. What was you doing? Nothing. I was... I, I, <laughs> I was broke. <laughs> Pineapples. <laughs> Pineapples. What, was the what, is, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> like, why do they come in and then not expect to be brought up here? I don't know, cause they're in the in the queue. They know they made it in, so I don't know why they think they're not gonna get chosen. Wow, it's funny. <laughs> Let's see, I got so luscious. Hello. This show is crazy as fuck. What's good, Melly? <laughs> so tonight is out of control. I agree. <laughs> so, you ready for your choose your own adventure story? You so I fly me? you out to Atlanta. We no. go check out Nobu. No. Somebody do some dumb shit. I bust him in the face. Oh, you telling me a story right now? I bust him in the face, right? Because in Georgia, you could carry. Mm. I say, let's go, let's go. What you say to me? After you bust him in the face? Absolutely. He grabs your ass. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I got to protect my lady, right? <laughs> I beg your pardon? You saw so you gonna shoot a nigga if he if because he touched me? Cause he grabbed your ass. He ain't touched you. Me. Yeah. It's I mean it's still touching me, but yeah. Okay. You crazy. <laughs> so 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 what's the difference between hood and crazy? Tell me. Ah, get the fuck out of here! <laughs> get, get, get. Now, hold on, hold on, because I'm about to I'm about to make this combo interesting. So 
You said, what's the difference between being hood and being crazy? Put me on. I'm listening. Okay. They both the same shit. Exactly. Yeah. What kind yeah. of wine you like? What are you drinking? You drink I'm drinking a Paso Robles Cabernet. So. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know all that fancy shit. All I know is I drink uh, Taylor Port. Oh, so Lucia, they don't want you to talk. Jose Perez with the Egon bust him in the face. All right. He said he would. He said he would. Did you like him? I don't know. It was just, it was, it, it was really funny. He brought okay. up a uh, maybe, maybe he's going to come back around. We'll see. Um, I got Buddy. Buddy. What's up? We see you. Guys, when you come, why there's no light? Y'all can't see me? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Can you see me now? Yes, thank you. Or do I got to get no key or something? No, nah, what's up with it? Everything. That's what's up. Uh, you say what? Nothing. What's, um, up? What's, what's your name? It's Kay. Kay, how you doing, Kay? Doing what's good. up, uh, Melly? I'm good. How are you? Chilling. Chilling. Yeah. Watching your show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what's up? I don't know. I just came to talk to y'all. See what y'all do. What y'all sipping on? We're not sipping. Y'all not sipping? Sitting. What y'all doing? Smoking? Buddy, do you know what we're doing on here? I do know what we're doing on here. All right, so talk to Kay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kay, where you from? From Jersey. You from Jersey? How old you is? 21. 21? I heard you was looking for a hood nigga. I ain't him. I ain't mm -hmm. a hood nigga. Okay. Yeah, I ain't a hood nigga. I, I, I'm a Air Force man. You feel me? So, yeah. <laughs> Salute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, Well, shit, I don't know what to say now that I got on here. Shit. <laughs> what do I start off? What I, you know. How do you, what do you do when you approach a woman? You say what? Yeah. Yeah. She said pineapple. All right. Sir, why are you here again? Yo, I didn't. I, I wanted to ask you a question though. I wanted to ask you something that's important. What? All right. So, what kind of food you like? How is that important? <laughs> why is that important? That's an important question. I haven't heard anyone ask you that. I like Spanish food. Spanish food. Okay. How you feel about seafood? Sorry. It's, right. it's all right. You been a crafty crab? What? You been a crappy crap? No. Why do you not have a shirt on? I was working out. I told you I'll be working out when I'm sitting here waiting on you. Why you come back? You got pineapple. Because I, I'm, I'm consistent. It? Like that's what I that's what I do. Like I just when I really want something, I just keep going for it. Like that's how I am. You know? So why you came as somebody else as your twin brother? Right. All right. You know well, what? Are you the triplet? So, so, <laughs> I don't like liars. I, I said that. I don't like liars. All right, and you said that I heard you. Like I was just you said last time I was born, so I try to come with something a little more interesting, you know, entertain you a little bit. And you laughed. So I'm not I'm not seeing, but I'm not gonna lie to you again. I promise you that. But um, yeah, I mean I'm gonna be out that way in Jersey like sometime later, you know what I'm saying? Later this month. I'm gonna hit you up on the DM and see if you try to get like some no. food or something. Nah. I'm gonna still I'm gonna still slide in your DM. <laughs> or you don't want me to. I'm not gonna violate. Huh? You gonna stay there? No, no disrespect, like. <laughs> I'm gonna stay where? In, in the DM. In the what? Y'all both talking the at the same DMs. time. In the DMs. That's where you gonna stay. That's your new home. Oh, um, all right. Yeah. I won't slide in there. I ain't gonna violate. But hey, I appreciate you. You know, still hearing me out. You ain't just pineapple me off back. You know what I'm saying? So I respect. But you know, I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you, premium. <laughs> Premium. <laughs> you say that's your new home. <laughs> <My dear. laughs> Sorry. Oh. Let's see, I got Chandler. Hi, Chandler. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, what's up, okay, man? Hey. Wait. Yes. What you want to talk about? Oh, you all in the camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my phone. I ain't on my laptop. Man. Hey, what you want? You grabbing onto hair? What hair are you grabbing onto? Take my the hoodie. Hair. <laughs> hoodie off. Huh? 
take the hoodie off. I need to see everything. See everything. Yeah. You see? Put the, I need to put your head down. Why? Why are your hairline going all the way back? Because I gotta get a haircut. How old are you? On the sheets. And your hairline already receded, my boy. Is you stressing? Yeah. What you stressing about? About women, bro. What we do to you? Like, I can't have no choice. Ain't no choice. How can I choose? When I'm out here doing my thing, how can I choose? It's about ain't doing nothing. You know what I'm saying? So you got trust issues? Yeah. So why you up here if you got trust issues? You need to heal yourself. I got you. You feel me? I'm a pineapple you. You need to do some healing. <laughs> I don't want none of that. Hey, I don't know. Let's see. I got double untend. I don't know. Hello. Entendre. Double entendre. My name's DeAndre. DeAndre. Right. Nice to meet you. Let me Hi. back up a little bit. Damn. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool. What's up? How you ladies doing? Doing right. Man, I just want to say... First off, both of you were very beautiful. And Thank um, you. of course, definitely. Melly, I just started watching you recently, so appreciate you oh, and your channel. For sure. Um, this is my first time ever seeing you, Kamora. Like I just hopped on YouTube and saw you guys talking. But you're very beautiful. And uh <laughs> you know, I I love your vibe, I'm not gonna lie. Was I see you you, you make music and you're a model, you live in New Jersey. Man, yeah. um, I think my <laughs> just turned off. Hold up. You don't know this? All right, my speaker just turned off. All right, they can you hear me? We can. All right, cool. Man. So, so if you were in a relationship with Kay, what would be the best thing you would do for her? What I, man, I would love to connect, open your mind, I mean, Teach you, give you knowledge of self. Teach you some shit. I want to teach you some shit. What you? What can you teach me about that I don't know already? Well, first off, the smartest man or woman in the world knows that they don't know shit. A I wise, mean, yeah, day. Huh? Learn every, learn every day. Exactly. All right, that's good. You know that already. Yeah. Trying to tell you. Oh, you seem very smart, for real. You seem very smart, and it's intellectual. I know you're an empath. I like that. I feel that. I feel that. I consider myself an empath too. I mean, I consider myself aware, self-aware, oh, empath. I, I, I'm vibing with your energy, both of you guys, Melly. I fucking love you, Melly. You're dope as hell. Okay, I, I, I like you. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not trying to jump into any relationship. Right now, but me neither. I was having a you neither, right? Okay. I know exactly. So I was having a tough day, so I just wanted to talk to to you guys because yeah, I was I don't <laughs> know. Yeah. Huh? Pineapple. Come on. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what? Not... You didn't like it? It was cool. Yeah, but but no, that's for you. He was he was cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to think, but I just wasn't. My energy wasn't trying to hear nobody else's problems right now. Okay. All right. We got SNI Transit. Hello. Your mic is off. Hey, what's what's the deal? What's up, Melly? How you feeling? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. I can't complain. What's up with you, Kay? Chilling. My name is uh, Isaac. Um, I'm from Bakersfield, California. Um. But I, I had a I had a question though, uh, cause you you remind me of a uh, you remind me of someone I used to deal with like heavy and she a Leo as well. But I got a question for you. Um, what's what's your take or your thoughts on men, positive and negative? Like, how do you feel about men? I seen like a certain post on your IG. I think it was on your story saying that made, it made me ask that question. How do you well, feel about men? How you feel about men these days? Men these days, okay. Um, yeah. Men these days, they have double lives. Double lives have always been a thing, honestly. But it's like, honestly, now it's just one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. You know, I feel like nobody is really their selves. Somebody, like, they always got something on the side. They always got to lie to you about something and try to make you seem like you're the crazy one. Facts, you know? okay. Yeah, yeah. 
All right. I ain't going, I ain't going, you know, just to say myself, I ain't going, you know, agree or disagree right now. But anyway, cause I'm a dude and it's a lot of dudes in this chat, but anyway, um, so that, that's, there's another question though. Um, so you like hood dudes. How does, how do you make that? I, I heard you say that you could bring the soft side out of a hood dude or whatever. And it's crazy. Cause this is the part that reminds me of my ex. I was literally with it, a Leo high school sweetheart. And uh, she she liked me simply because I was I was in you know I grew up in the hood and it's in me whatever, but um she literally wanted a um baby boy relationship you know the movie baby boy, she would she would ask me like when we get in our fights how come I don't put my hands on her or stuff like literally she wanted that that it was oh yeah she asked for it for real what? she asked for it you don't she asked for it. sorry <laughs> <laughs> um I guess you know just. Growing up then, and I'm 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 30 years old, so I don't know. Back then, I guess when men act in a certain manner, they feel like that's they do it because the men love them. They wouldn't beat on them, you know, if they didn't love them, shit like that. But yeah, it's crazy. So, so um, that's my question though. Uh, how do you how do if I bring out the softness in a in a hood guy? Yeah. That's, how you feel? You do that? Yeah. That's my own little secret recipe. You feel me? But. Okay. Uh, Honestly, I feel like when when it comes to them, you've got to really understand them because they, you know, a lot of them, they've been through a lot of traumatic stuff in life. And I, some girls, um, some females, they don't understand that they could trigger a guy and then a guy, like, they, they can react a certain way. And then the female's like, oh, my God, he's a narcissist or he's this or he's that. But then it's Thank like, you, you got to understand, like, in a way, if, like, for me. Since I know that I like dealing with those type of men, I got to understand what comes with it, you know, and everything like that. And I feel like, um, like I said before, like, you got to really understand them because they come from a lot of trauma, uh, a lot of abuse sometimes. And it's like, yeah, you got to you got to understand them. And when they feel like they got somebody that's really there for them, somebody that listens, somebody that caters to their emotions and stuff like that, they become more vulnerable, you know? Legit, legit. That's for sure. Yeah, you understand me. I want to um ask you. So when did when did I guess life or let's say the independent life begin for you? At what age did you get out the house and get on your own? Um, I left the house at seventeen. Literally right after graduation, a few weeks after I graduated high school, um, I already had like money saved up from jobs that I was doing throughout um middle school to high school. So I found my apartment, I moved out, and I already had gotten accepted into a college, so I went to college, and I, you know? Yeah. I don't know. It's I, it's it's a certain energy that the uh, universe give Leos to me, I swear. Like, because I, I, I pay attention to them. I'm a cancer. But um, just watching, you know, watching uh, if I, you know, thinking back and speaking on my ex again or whatever, you know, like a lot of stuff happened to her, you know, and her life came to her in a good, in a good manner, you know what I mean? Got her license early shit like that always had a good job stuff like that and stayed on me but anyway uh i i love leo sorry uh si transit um did you like him yes he was he was doing all right okay maybe he'll come back around i don't know how much more time you got because the room is still full i'm good i'm good to go you're good to go all right uh, let's see. I got Rico. Man, fuck this shit, bro. Hey, look, hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> I, nah, for real. What? First of all, dog, I was gonna get back on this bitch and flame your ass for talking about Chandler, but I'm I'm gonna be smooth on it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like my nigga Chandler might not have the, the chops to roast your ass, but I was gonna get on your ass. Uh, second thing is, why nigga got to kill a nigga to fuck with you? Why a nigga gotta have a strap on to fuck with you? Like, damn. So a nigga gotta get but on his. Preference. That's my preference. I, I'm not saying that I want a nigga to be 24 seven. Like I'm a killer nigga. No, I. What I'm saying is I don't want a soft man. I might be saying it. I might be. It might be coming off different to how you perceiving it. But what I'm saying is I don't like a soft man. I've All dealt right. with soft men before, and I don't like soft men. For sure. All right. So my nigga get in the jam. What's gonna happen? I'm gonna hold the nigga down. You know how many niggas I've held down in jail? Let me not get on that. But I've held, I've till this day, I'm holding down the nigga that I went to high school with. Why you want this shit? 
So, 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 what is it? I just wanted to know because I, I know a lot of niggas I've been cool with, and they. But, maybe... but, but listen, don't, don't try to, don't try to like. How do I say this? Stereotype. Everybody, you. yeah, don't try to stereotype because everybody. Yo. I'm not like females. You not like other niggas. Melly no. is not like other females. You feel me? You gotta, you gotta know how I am. I don't care what you've been through with other people. It's me. You know what I mean? Okay. So I... I'm, I just like a man that know how to defend himself, that know how to defend his girl. Cause I got my own strap. If I got my strap, my man gotta have his strap too. Why a nigga can't box though? Why niggas just can't get on the man? <laughs> if, if you can box, that's a plus. If you can box, that's a plus. But look, it's gonna be a double plus because you can box and you can shoot a gun. What's up? I I can box and shoot a gun. A motherfucking girl come up to me wilding on me. I'm looking at you like, bro, you gonna get on her ass? You gonna you gonna do it? Or do I gotta be like, man, fuck that? I'm gonna hey. do it if I feel threatened. My thing is, I'm not gonna attack a girl just to <laughs> attack a girl because it's different. It's different. I'm a, I don't know how to explain it to, to people to understand me, but it's different. Man. Rico, Rico, Rick, Ricky, whatever. I you uh, know. <laughs> Cause she fucking pat up with the nigga off his accent. Like I'm tired of that southern slander, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look you say I'm, southern slander. <laughs> look, no, I'm gonna tell you this though. I'm gonna tell you. No, this. but Rick, Rick, wait. I have a question. So, are you that guy? Are you that aggressive? I don't know what what she's looking for. Are you him? I'm like hybrid. You know, I'm adaptable. I could in in situations. You know what I'm saying? I'm adaptable. Like. Motherfuckers get that pretty boy shit, and they be like, "Oh, that nigga cute on some shit." But niggas get out of hand. This shit will get crazy. But I ain't. I don't want to say that shit because a nigga thinking nigga got bravado and tough, and they put you in situations you don't want to be in. But uh, damn, I just forgot what I said because you told me that motherfucking question. Uh, hell yeah, bro. You said my fucking accent was crazy, man. What the fuck? Damn, for real. So look, look. This is what I was gonna say. I forgot. When motherfuckers outside of the South be like, what are you saying? What are you saying? We be looking at y'all like, bro, y'all as slow as shit, bro. You can't hear what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck? You be like, huh? What are you saying? Are you saying this? Nigga, you can hear what I'm saying, nigga? I'm, what are you talking about? Like, do I got to type it out? What, what, what? I'm trying to say, what are you going off about right now? No, I ain't going out, bro. I'm just tired <laughs> of the Southern niggas getting slandered. Like, motherfuckers be like, Enunciate, articulate yourself. I'm like, bro, fuck out of me. That's just me because I'm. I i do not fucking understand y'all. The fuck. Damn. Like, damn. Like, but look though, I'm finna get the fuck about her. Get my nigga Trill Quell a chance, or my nigga. I, why uh, you it, something I'm out. Gonna, sorry, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> I like this. Is why I like being single. <laughs> this ain't just this for Rico. <laughs> <laughs> He said, I'm tired of this sudden slender. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We got some light right now. Hello. Yo, yo. Hi. Hey, so hold on. I want to know something. So is you going to bust that bitch for me? If, if, I'm, in, if I'm tied up? Okay. <laughs> Okay, it's not his funny. <laughs> Boy, go the fuck ahead, pineapple. Go the fuck ahead. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> no, you don't want to answer that question. Okay, let's see. We got um, oh, Paul Moss is here. Oh Hello. my goodness, K. Look, <clears throat> K. Look, I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> First of all, shout out to Rico. That boy is a legend. <clears throat> anyway, K. I'm. I'm not the hood dude. Yes, I got a gun, but I'm not. I'm not crazy. Like, I don't understand why you like crazy men. What? Why crazy men? You literally admitted hood dudes are crazy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! These dudes, no wonder they're single. Okay. Ah. Oh, uh, let me see who we haven't talked to. Uh. No, I think Juju. Juju. I don't know. <laughs> can we see, can we see you? We talked to him already. Yeah. All right, never mind. Sorry, Juju. Uh, Miami. The boat. The boat. Miami three hundred five. You here, sir? No. Okay. You guys taking space for no reason. 
If you don't want to talk, don't come here. I got Chibs. Hi, Chibs. Hi, Melly. How you doing? Good. How are you? What's up, Kamara? Kamara. How you doing, girl? <laughs> She's you doing like to make you funny, man. Yeah, huh? I got a song for you. Get pretty girls rock. You're a pretty girl, so I know, I know, I know you're gonna rock. You like it by Carrie Hilson? You want me to go? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lemon pepper step is that? Where your lemon? Where your lemon pepper step? What a lemon pepper step is that? You said work. <laughs> go ahead. Are you ready, ahead. girl? Yes, we're ready. Start singing. Let's go. Pretty girls rock. What you mean? Lee scary. I'm so very. But oh my, I need be scary. That I want to marry. Looking at my dairy. And you can't say it's from a berry. Pretty as a picture. Sweeter than a swisher. Because I have kisses than the girls want to with me. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it, baby. You can see it. But if you want it, I'll be happy to repeat it. Name is scary. I'm so very. But oh my, it's a little bit scary. Boys want to marry. Looking at my dairy. And you can't see it. If you touch it, I'm a berry. It really has a picture. It's really the last picture. Let's go. The girls want to with you. I ain't talk about it because I know I'm pretty. And if you two ladies sing with me, my lips on me when I walk in. Oh, question that this girl is then. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. I walk my talk the way I trip. It's not my fault, so please don't trip. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. Don't hate me because I'm beautiful. You beautiful. <laughs> You beautiful girl. Girls, girls, girls are gonna hate you because you're beautiful. Yeah. So don't hate her because she's beautiful. So that's it. That's it. Well, like it. thank like you. It. I like that. He uplifted my spirit. Yes. I'm done. Yeah, so and I'm cool with Carrie. I'm gonna have to send it to her. She's gonna die. They need to do a remix for real. <laughs> hey, we never know. She might do it. Who knows? Uh, let's see. I got more. Hey, Charles. What's up? What's up? How y'all doing? Wag wag. How are you? I'm good. What's up, Okay, So, how you doing? That's the real question. That's what we're really trying to figure out. Oh. <laughs> how you doing? Okay. Oh. Uh, so you seem like you got more to you than what people are trying to like make seem. So like, I was just wondering, like, you know. What is something that you wish people would know more about you that they don't really know from like looking at your Instagram or whatever? Just like, what's something you wish people would know more? What I, I want them to know that I'm happy with myself, that okay. I don't, nobody thinks about me. But what they should know is that off of social media, like me in person, I'm really a, I'm really a sweetheart. I'm very humble. Like, you know, I'm, I'm somebody you would want to be around, even if you hate me. Like, Right, you know? right, right. Mm, okay. Uh, so, like, do you feel like you learn more about yourself by being, like, I guess, single or, like, when you was in a relationship? Like, Wait, I'm sorry. I think the beginning. I'm sorry. Like, do you feel like you learning more about yourself being alone, like, being single as you are right now? Or did you learn yeah, more about yourself yeah. in a relationship? My, my thing was when it came to relationships for me, the relationship always came before me. That was my problem. I catered too much to relationships and like to the point where it brought me into like this period of depression. Like nobody knows that I suffer from depression because they don't see I'm always like happy on Instagram. I'm always posting like I'm always like, but me, like I do suffer from depression and anxiety and a lot of stuff. But um, but yeah, I feel like that just makes me who I am though. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like that's not like a bad thing. Like you made it sound like it's a bad thing. It's just I feel like you're just more looking for like the person to like, I guess go into like whoever. Like say for instance, like a trust fall almost. Like somebody you can just fall with and like you can just be with him no matter what. So that's it. Don't seem like it's a bad thing. It just seems like you just you know been around the wrong folks or whatever. You know. So yeah. Uh, 
So, so that's a question. Why your your shirt say Sassy Man Unit? So uh, I got a friend. He got a YouTube channel, and this is his merch. So I'm just supporting him. You know what I'm saying? You, I mean, it is a movement going on. You know. What you, feel, you feel okay wearing that? Nah, it's, it's literally just a joke. It's it's not. You know, it's, it is a movement though. But it's like. I always wondered why y'all call everything that we do sassy. That's like you know, what I'm not everything, just okay. sassy behavior. Well, yeah, it's just, it's literally just a joke on the whole Twitter movement that people keep talking about. Everybody, oh okay, you know, so everybody calling everybody sassy or whatnot. So, but it's uh, it's a joke though. <laughs> okay. <It's literally> just... <laughs> <laughs> well, how you feel about the show? It's honestly hard. Like you're really thinking about it. to say sassy man unit. Yeah, it's it's a joke though, but uh, oh, sassy men unite. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, unite. I'm sorry. Yeah, unite. Yeah, and they got like the the Dragon Ball Z stuff on it. It's really clean. Come on now. Now nah, that's funny. See, she liked it. <laughs> well, nah. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna let somebody else get on here, but I just wanted to you know chop it up with you real quick. Just you know figure out more about yourself. Uh, you know I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna DM you my Instagram. And then we can just go on from there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All right. Is that cool? That cool. All right. Bet, bet, bet. All right. Well, y'all have a nice one. Thank you. You too. Bye. What do you feel about the, the hoodie? You liked it? At least they. At least he knows men are sassy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I would rep it. I don't know. The chat is talking about, bro, you like men. Uh, this generation is done. Um, hey, <laughs> they're going crazy. Hi, son. What's up, Melly? You hear me? I hear you. All right, say that. First of all, I just want to say, you know, dodo to the moon and all that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, other than that, I just want to say, what's up? I'm actually uh, surprised I got in this room. Yeah, you're here. Yeah, this shit crazy, but um, Sorry, you know, what, Kamar, I got a question, huh? What's up? Nothing. What's up? Oh no, yeah, I was about to ask you a question. Um, you say you fuck with hood niggas, right? Clearly, you know what I'm saying I don't want to say it's not fucking working, but you know, you 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 say you brought that shit up with my man Mars and shit. So I was wondering, like, you say you a nurse and all that. Why not? Why not fuck with them doctors that you got upstairs? I'm not a nurse. <laughs> Or you said you do outpatient shit. I just yeah, I work in the hospital, like you know. You just work there. It's not like a career for me. So what you you just so so what you really want to do then? I guess I want to be. An you got like you got like rich niggas right up upstairs. You got rich niggas that's a couple of feet from you. And doctors making good money. And they they okay. not all pussy. Okay. I'm just asking, like. What kind of characteristics are you looking for in a hood nigga that you think a doctor wouldn't have? You think if you think I if a doctor making good money, he'd be a pushover? You think he gonna let somebody slap his ass and hold do on. crazy in front of you? I'm trying to answer your question. I My don't fault. know. I don't know how to explain it to people because at the end of the day, I understand it. You feel me? Mm. I understand it, but I don't know how to explain it to people for them to understand because I don't give a fuck if they understand or not. <laughs> not I be disrespectful, but as long as I <laughs> And what I want in a man, and the reason why I love a hood man, I don't think it should really like matter. I don't know how to explain it. I don't. I'm like, I don't know how to explain it. I'm sorry. Any All other right. questions? So you're 21, right? At 25, where you see yourself? I see myself with everything that I'm working for this year. This year? You gonna get it all this year? That's it? You never know. One day you could be broke, the next day you could be up. You feel me? She like broke him in the fix. Damn. <clears throat> as long as I fix him, right? <laughs> Some people don't want to be fixed. Damn, like it's a problem for everything. Everything is a problem to these people. You said what? I said some people don't want to be fixed. And that's their problem. Yeah. But all right, I'm going to get up out of here. You have a good night, though, all right? You too. You too. Bye. No, not for you. Let's see. How you say your name? Hello. Oh, damn. I didn't realize I was here. Uh, Kyrie. That's how you say my name. Kyrie. Hello. 
Yeah, it's like the uh, the ball player. Mm-hmm. I spell my name a little bit different though. How you guys doing tonight? I'm doing good. Today. All right, that's good. Am I I'm trying to get the angle right? Am I good? Y'all can hear me? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so let me just ask this one question. So what would I guess what would you say would be your best trait and I guess your worst trait? I guess in a relationship. My best trait is that I'm understanding. Like, mm-hmm. uh, how I said before, like, I'm an empath. I can really understand, like, when a guy is, is coming to me about an issue or something in a relationship, like, I'm able to put myself in his shoes and understand why he's coming to me, at, you know? But then again, my worst trait, um, my worst trait is, I, like, I shut down. You know, sometimes I shut down and I don't want to speak, like, at all. I won't mm. speak for, for days. I won't even eat. Like, you know, like, I'll I'll let you know that I'm really, like, affected, if that makes sense. And I feel like that's, to me, like, from my part, it's a little toxic in a way. Because mm. I, could, I could just get an attitude, you know? And I won't communicate why I have an attitude. And, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I get what you're saying because I deal with anxiety too. So sometimes, like when I overthink my anxiety, sometimes I spiral. You know, I just want to be in my room and just chill and just not talk to nobody. I sometimes be ghosting people and everything. I try mm-hmm. not to do that. But let me also ask you this What are you exactly looking for in terms of like a serious relationship? In my bad, I just hopped on. I'm so not going to lie. I'm like, I don't know if I made this clear before, but I'm gonna make it now. Like, I'm not looking for nobody at the moment, mm-hmm. but like, if we're thinking about like the future, what I'm looking for in a relationship, like once I really like heal myself and I heal like my little toxic ways, I like I want the relationship where there's communication. Where there's, I'm not saying that there's not gonna be any arguments, but that those arguments don't lead up to like physical abuse or somebody walking out or stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. a healthy relationship where there's communication, there's loyalty, there's trust. Like my man can go outside and I don't have to worry about where he is or if he's lying about being where he is, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, you say heal yourself. Do you go to therapy? It, I mean, you'll got to answer. If it's I didn't been to therapy my whole life. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Anger management. I had a lot of anger management therapy. Um, but what was I gonna say? But yeah, when I say like heal myself, I'm talking about like spiritually, like who I like, who I am to me. It doesn't have to deal with like anybody else. It just well, me and myself. Well, oh, I'm sorry. No, I, that's what I was gonna. That was gonna be my next question. Was I was gonna ask you. I guess, how are you, I guess, mentally, you know, spiritually too and everything? Mentally, mentally, I've been happy. Like, like I said, like I've been to, it's been, it's been like six months now that I've been celibate. I've been saying to myself, like, I go on my runs. I take care of myself. I'm working on my business. Like, I'm, I'm more focused on myself than I've ever been in life, honestly. Hmm. Okay, so you say you go on runs. What do you do? I guess like is like hobbies, like personal things that you may want to like. I guess do to you know make yourself feel good. So like for example, me like I guess one thing I like to do. Well, for one, I like to read, but two, I also like to work out and everything. That's like two of my hobbies and everything. So what about you? Well, for me, it would be running. You know, it's something that um, is a stress reliever for me. Um, I also like to meditate. That's another thing that I like doing, like, as a hobby, honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, okay. No, okay, cool. All right, well, I pretty much answered my, well, I asked my questions and everything. But, you know, it was nice talking to both of y'all, and I hope y'all have a good night. You too. Yeah, you too. Are you interested? He'd be like a friend. He gives friends. Okay. 
Mm. All right, let's see. Uh, we'll do a couple more and then we'll go. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Troy is back around. Hello. What's up, ladies? How y'all feeling? Hey. Good. How are you? I'm good. I see you've been on here for a long time, so I ain't going to hold you too much. Um, but for starters, I'm going to ask you a question. Um, I know you like Spanish food. I love Spanish food, by the way. What's your favorite, what's your favorite Spanish meal? My grandma makes it all the time. She mm. makes arroz moro. I don't know if you know if you speak Spanish. The rice, come on. I'm from the I'm from the I'm from the town, baby. Like all right. Arroz moro. Um yellow, asada, yellow drink. Right? Lechon. I love that. Mm. I love mm. lechon. Um I also I'm a big fan of Dominican food too. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm on that. I like my mango con queso y salami and all that good stuff on top. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't even know you was Dominican. You speak Spanish? I'm Cuban. I'm not Dominican. Oh, shit. I ain't. My, I just jumped on this shit. My bad. I got on a nigga pineapple me in like 30 seconds. I ain't get a chance to really talk my shit. But I'm looking at <laughs> Talk to me. What else? What else? What? What? Like, what's interesting about you? What's interesting about me, I'm a very multifaceted man. I do a lot of things. Um, I guess I'll talk about what I do. I actually got I got questions for you, but I'll talk I'll talk about me. Um, mm -hmm. I run a privately hedge fund. I have a trucking company, small portfolio of real estate. Uh, I do a number of things. So saying. Um, but I know that you're an artist. If you can if you can feature with any artist, what artist would you feature with? Um, either, do you know who Cash Page, Page is? Cash Page? Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know who that is. So, either her, Anne Mary, um, or Summer Walker. No, that's like, that's because that's like the type of music that I'm making. Like. Okay. Okay. Cash Page, I gotta look them up. They make some fire? She's good. Okay. Like, she, for the smokers, like, if you smoke, she's like, good mellow, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your favorite thing to do on Sundays? On Sundays, I'm really in the house. Um, I probably would only step outside, like, to run, go get coffee, go mm. eat, and then I come home, shower, clean, cook, you know? Mm. Mm. Okay. Okay. Hey. What questions? So what questions you got for me? Well, what, what is your goal in life? My golden life is to be extremely comfortable with where I'm at financially. Um, I'm very comfortable right now, but I want to be in a situation where I could take care of mine and, and others in regards to. See, I ran. I'm sorry, Troy, Troy Royal. Uh, Jose Pierre is talking about Medi, stop digging in your nose. I'm not digging, my nose is itching. But <laughs> itching at the top of our nose, stop. <laughs> yes, I have allergies. That shit is blowing me. Um, all right, let's see. We'll we'll do a quick round because um, it's still twelve people in the chat uh, in the room, and uh, so you know a little quick one. Yeah. All right. Tough like tissue. Hello. No. I guess not. I guess you don't want to talk. What? Hello. Yo. What's going Yo. on? Nothing much. How are you? Yeah, just chilling still. I I don't even know much about this show to be honest. I just want to see what's going on from the UK. Okay, so the show is uh Kay is single and we might try to find her somebody. <laughs> yeah. So what are you looking what what are you looking for from the show? Okay. Yes, this is too late for to ask those questions. We've been on for two hours. So yeah. cool. Next time, oh, well, <laughs> he's like, okay, fuck you. <laughs> well, sorry. Uh, Omar, hello. How y'all doing? Uh, salutations. <laughs> y'all have a good Easter. Hey, Kamora. Hey, Millie. Y'all had a good Easter weekend? Yes. Hey, I just want to ask y'all this one question for both of y'all. What's more important to you, loyalty or respect to you? What's more important? I feel like without, without, Hold on. I just had it. Yeah, take your time. 
can't really have one without the other because are you sure you can't, you can't really be loyal if you're not respectful if that makes sense yeah but you can be respectful and not be loyal if that makes sure. sense Depends. It depends. I think on... if you're not loyal, you're not respectful. Yeah, yeah. I need loyalty above all. And I can tell Kamora, I know you're working out your things. And Millie, I appreciate you hosting this thing and you've been holding it down, by the way, respectfully. But come on, <laughs> no, no, real deal. You did, you did, you've done a hell of a job. But come on, I get where you're coming from. You're working on yourself and you want to better yourself. But at the end of the day, you need to deal with a nigga that's going to be loyal. You feel me? I know that. Go ahead. Finish your breakfast. Go ahead. No, I, I know. <laughs> like, that's what I was trying to say before. Like, like I said, I'm on mm -hmm. here just to see like the different types of guys that are out there, but I'm not really trying to find nobody right now because I'm still I working know. on my You know what yeah. I mean? But when but, you hear yeah. the thing, I'm working on myself too. And you mm -hmm. know the one thing I'm learning is there's levels to people. You feel me? There's levels to people. Like, Millie's a good person. You feel me? You can trust her with your life. There's some of these niggas, they might like you because you cute, which you are. I'll give you that respectfully. You might be beautiful. Uh, I don't know if I bite alligators, but I have had alligator before. <laughs> you fried that motherfucker, that shit tastes like chicken! Y'all! I've had that. Alligator? Yeah. Don't it taste like chicken, though? Am I lying? It tastes better than chicken. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm they see in there, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Kamora, though, I see a lot of good in you, and I see your heart. I just want you to win. That's all I want you to do. You feel me? Because you will. Mm -hmm. Just pace yeah. yourself. A lot of these niggas don't understand the difference between loyalty and respect because they don't know they don't know they self. You feel me? I had it. That's why. Uh, here's the thing. I didn't come to this bitch asking questions. I wanted to get to. Praise y'all. Say hello. Hope you had a good weekend and we can take it from there. Because mm -hmm. like at the end of the day, identifying with people ain't about you. It's about them. Yeah, I do that. Uh, everybody call me Unc, by the way. <laughs> everybody call me Unc. But like, I, I appreciate y'all for doing what... This is my first time on stream, y'all. I didn't even know this was a thing. Like some <laughs> random niggas from uh, Discord was like, yo, please, you need to fuck with uh, StreamYard. And here we are. So I appreciate you, Kamora. I appreciate you, Millie. And Millie, though, every time I see you look into the side, I'm like, what's she looking at? <laughs> I, I got to handle everything. I don't know. I'm looking at the screen. <laughs> oh, it's all good. I love your accent, though. I'm Grenadian, by the way. So. Oh, nice. Y'all. Yeah. Rice and peas. Rice and peas. <laughs> Hey, but Kamora, though, I got faith in you. You're going to figure it out, shorty. Once you do, figure yourself out. You're going to figure out the rest of life. I, I guarantee you. But take your time. You feel me? You ain't no rest. You still going to be sexy, respectfully. And when these niggas always be like, I got one more question, be like, no. Ask them questions. Free game. All right. I ain't going to hold it up. Um, Y'all can keep on moving. Two hours in. Okay, Omar, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Hey, no, hey, hey, no, add me if y'all can do that, because I would love, I, I would love for y'all to be a part of my podcast. You do know I do that. No, I don't know you do that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little thing called five minutes with fees, but like we on Spotify, we 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 trying to work it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, but all in all seriosity, I appreciate you, ladies, and please be blessed and have a great rest of your week. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. You too. All right, one. Bye. I peeped one of the comments saying somebody like I appreciate everybody saying that I got this and stuff, but somebody said she has seventeen bodies to figure it out. But one thing that I, like, I want, like, but Melly, like one thing that people don't understand is mm -hmm. that you don't come in this world knowing how to be in a relationship. You don't come in this world knowing how to be loyal to somebody. Like you, you experience people and you learn from them. So mm -hmm. it's like, so it's like. From all those people that I used to mess with in my past, I learned something from every single relationship. Like mm -hmm. whether it was a relationship, whether it was a why not stand, whether it was something, I learned something. You know? Yeah. And and that's why I don't like when people judge because of how many people you've been with, they don't even know if that's an estimated number. They don't like, you know, they don't even know if I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. But is like what I'm trying to say is like you can't really figure out a person you can't figure out how they are because of who they mess with or 
or anything like that because you're growing every day, whether you realize it or not. You learn yeah. in every, you know. I don't know. I just felt like I had to say something about that. Yeah, I mean, I, I understand. It, it's just for the chat. They feel like you're young, and to them, that number. I mean, even for uh, grown people, mm -hmm. like not that you're not grown, but like older people, they they would still say 17 is too high. But for you, they feel like how at 21 you already got 17. You know, but, but like. That's none of their business, but it's my fault for even saying a number. Dang it. Uh, so, when you said it, I was like, you're going to say that? But hey, if the thing is, you say I, what you say, and I, the, the fact that you can handle like the criticism, the bad, the negative comments is like, I'm all with you. My whole life, I'm not going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. Like, growing up, everybody, it was a thing. Everybody said that I had my body done. Everybody said, like, it was it was a lot of things that people tried, like, a lot of insecurities that people try to bring out of me. But what they don't know is I love myself. I love everything about me. This is the internet. I don't mm -hmm. care. No yeah. one in is going to come up to me and say what they want to say. You know what I mean? So it's like, at the end of the day, I don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the judge is saying, at least you own it. So, hey, it yeah. is what it is. Mm-hmm. So, it's let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It's like they they gonna hate you for being sneaky, and then they gonna hate you for being honest. Like you just might as well hate me and, and hate me with everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let, let's see. Uh, I got Uchi. Oh, we talked to you already, sir. We talked to you. We said to... round round two. <laughs> Mike Matthews, we can't see you. I'm I'm deciding who we're talking to. Hydrate. What's up, Melly? What's going on? Nothing much. How are you? I'm doing better than good. Better than good. How awesome. Or mm -hmm. okay, I got one question for you. Uh, basically, I want to know. Hopefully, this helps somebody. So, what you're looking for basically is like uh, one, a man, and two, just somebody that no matter what or where you go, like you know, you get respect, like. You know, and that you know you're good, basically. Like that's that's what it is, pretty much. At the end of the day, something like that is that is that kind of on the borderlines of that, yeah. Something like that. All right, mm -hmm. but yeah, no, that's all I that's all I wanted to say. I gotta go, but yeah, that's all I had, real quick. Okay, thank okay. you, JT. All right, nice. All I had to say, Michelle. Hello. Hello, y'all can hear me. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How you doing, Kamara? Is that how you say it? Kamara or Kamara? It's it's Kamara, but it's K. K. Okay. So uh, how you doing, Melly? As well. I'm um, good, thank you. How are you? I'm all right. But Kamara, you say you're 21, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You do you think um, you're worth more now or when you're like? 28, 30, like as far as when you're ready to settle down type stuff. Because you did say you didn't want to settle down with anybody at this moment. So do you think you're worth now or later? I mean, I just said that I'm not looking for a relationship right now. So that would mean, like I said before, that I'm working on myself right now. So, no. Right. And so the man you want I'm sure, you know, he's, he's looking for somebody who's young, you know, pretty much inexperienced as well. Do you think, like, later on, it'll be and easier? That yeah. The man you want. You think he'll want you, you now? But yeah, okay. Do you think he'll want you now or later? Uh-huh. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. I said, I said, we just, just continue what you were saying. Okay. So the question is, Do you think the man you want, right? This hood man, I'm sure you want, he makes like 100K a month. I mean, not a month, a year. I don't know, six foot man, whatever. Call it what you want. Do you think he wants you now or later? I don't know. Um, okay. That's fine. It's good, good seeing y'all, though. <laughs> okay. Like, I felt that. That's why I'm just like, huh? I'm in Zulu War, your phone. <laughs> you good? You, you got your lives out? No. 
<laughs> so I'm sorry, like that shit. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not gonna lie for a second. I thought you had some boxes on your head till I realized it was. A- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know what's that. I don't, yeah, I mean, hey, what? I'm I'm keeping this on my head. I I know it's, it's you protecting your hair. Yeah, I don't want the for me stuff getting on my pillow and all that. Yo, where you from? From Jersey. Oh, I right, right. I'm from New York. That's what's yeah. up. Yeah, I heard you but- say you was like you don't want a relationship. You just um you just seeing what type of guys you can like. Just the different type of guys you can see on here. I don't want to hold on. Let me make sure with the mirror not reflecting my back. I'm just trying to like I'm just trying to see with my eyes and my ears and hear. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. No, nah, that's valid. That's actually that's actually but like the different type of men that's out there. Because I don't yeah, even know actually, what I you feel me. That's actually a good, a valid reason to come on here. Like instead of saying you want a relationship, but you want something serious, but you don't want something. Se- girls be on here saying like that's actually a valid reason. The world like so. I mean, I guess I could only say the type of guy I am. Like, hmm, hmm. Well, I mean, like you say, you wanted something serious, like, and you want a loyal guy. I'm not gonna lie, you not, you probably not gonna get that out of regular relationship. <laughs> she didn't say she wants something serious. Like, I don't know where he came up with that one. Uh, Michael Simpson with the last twenty dollar. Don't waste your time. Let's wrap this up. Yes, up in this. That that is it. We're done. Somebody saying one more, one more. You guys. <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. I appreciate all you guys coming through. Sounding very nervous talking to this beautiful young lady. Excuse me, ladies. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What up, Kay? I know you don't like being called Kamara. Yeah, there she go, y'all. There she go. There she go. Basically, what she's saying is slow down, man. Stop with the pressure. She ain't looking for your dick. She trying to come up on herself, get her money right, get her paper right. Melly, she running her business. I was thinking over here like, um, I went here to put my IG up there so you already know what to do. I was like, Mel, what you're doing is great. And you could c- combine what Kay does because Kay wants her hair products. We can, and you know the Chinese guys on here too, they're just a little shy, but they got the connect. Get the connect for the hair so you can get your hair and your hair products and everything. But um, with you, man, I was thinking about, whoa, that'd be a great uh, thing for you to do with what you're doing right now, but with also like a dating website. Think about that, a dating website. Yeah, that'd be great. So that's passive income. You yourself, uh, Kay, you can sell hair. And you could be on there. That's passive income, also, and that's that's good for promotion and things like that. That's getting yourself together. That's a good, a great way passive income. What you're doing right now and modeling to get you some passive incomes. Plus, you know, you got it's other things. I got great ideas. I'm Mr. Uh, Love Living Lively, Mr. Gold Mine on IG. I'm the mind that created the hoverboard. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know this why. Way. I felt like it turned into a pitch. I don't know what he was. No, uh, I don't know what. Okay, I'm trying to have a one good one for last, but I think it's not happening. Um, let's see who we didn't talk to at all. Okay, Shaggy. Hopefully, Shaggy is good. Hi, Shaggy. Hey, good night. Good night. Oh, you're from What's the up? island. <laughs> <laughs> what made you say that? Good How you doing, Kay? Okay? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. I just have I just have manners. That's all. So, uh, what's your favorite color? No funny shit. It's yellow. All right. So I already know. Like, our dream day would probably go something like this, right? I get like a yellow sheet or a blanket or something, right? And we go out to like the forest somewhere, be birds and shit chirping and stuff like that, right? We're laying down. We probably have what? You trying to make it seem like it's a Disney movie or something? You said the first. No, I know Disney movie. It's gonna be nice, like nice little scenery, you know, flowers and stuff like that. <laughs> and we're gonna have like a nice little picnic, right? You know, we'll be chilling there, vibing. Mm-hmm. And then like fifty niggas come out the bushes, and I got an Uzi in the basket. I gotta just spray all of that. They said no. <laughs> they said hello, good night. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love when they come on and they're like, good night. 
<laughs> I love it. Okay, well, I think that's it. Okay, wait, I, I give you one more. I know I keep on saying, oh, Marseille is back. You liked him. Hello. What's good? Um, I'm probably going to get pineapple again. But look, I just got a few more questions for you, Kay. Um, so I think I heard you said you're not looking for a relationship. Yeah. But Marseille, you know you're not even um, hood enough for her. That's what... Uh, that was my second question. Do I have to be hood or can that just be me? And then maybe... You know, that's the thing. Hood is a preference. Like, I'm it's saying. not... That's what I want constantly because... Like I'm like I said, I'm still learning and I'm still growing. I might not want a good man two years, three years from now. But I'm, like I'm telling you what what it is me right now, sitting right now, right now is what I've been looking at has been good men. And that has been my preference. I'm not saying that you have to be. I'm just telling you what my preference has been. All right. Homeboy said I am going to be a doctor in the making soon, so you might as well go upstairs. I'm, I'm right there. Um, but uh, so if I don't have to be hood, what does it take to go on a date with you? How do I um, how do I make this happen? Um, you would just ask me on a date. Well, Jose Perez with the $20, uh, you <laughs> saw Drake on Take Care, my boy. <laughs> I love that. Uh, was it a mixtape or an album? I loved it. Um, um that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. Well, must say, slide in the DM. Can you slide in your DMs? Do you like him enough or no? I don't want nobody in my DMs, but um, so yeah, no. he's cool. But you don't want nobody in your DMs. Nobody. I'm just saying because I know how I am. I'm not gonna respond. Well, Sorry. guys, she told you. What's both your definition of love at this point in life? Frankie, it's, for me, it's too late uh, to, to talk about love right now. Kay, you want to answer that question? <laughs> Just pass the ball to me. Um, my definition of love, I, I don't even think I have a clear vision on it right now. Okay. I, love, I love myself. I think that, you know... That's all that should matter at this at this moment. Mm -hmm. okay. well, I answer that. That's it. Well, that's it. I won't give you any more men. Hey, yes. <laughs> it's still four. It's still 12 people. But we're good. So um guys, so you you don't somebody say you're honest at least. Uh so do you uh do you want to promote anything? This is her IG, guys. If you want to go uh, check. She has a bunch of pictures on there that <laughs> you guys are gonna like. If you guys want to see more of my personality, which I would be, I will be showing more on Instagram. Follow me at um, the famous EK, and also follow my business page, Rare Beauty by K. It's linked in my bio. Okay. <laughs> All right. People are still it's talking about promote the only fan. She says she don't got one, guys. So that's not for for you. All right. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate you for finally showing up. <laughs> and I'm so sorry. An hour and a half. But mm -hmm. I appreciate you for, for coming and being a good sport and taking all those comments because I know how, how the internet can be, you know? Yeah, but that's why it's just the internet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But thank you. Yeah, I really appreciate your platform too as well. Thank you. Well, I will talk to you soon then. Yes. All Bye. Right. Bye. All right, guys, that was Kay. So if you didn't get a chance to talk to her, I mean, I guess she said don't slide in the DM. So I don't know what to tell you. But maybe you still want to slide. I don't know. But that's her IG. You can check her out. She has a bunch of pictures. I think some videos. And um, yeah, if you want to see something sexy, go over there. So what are you guys say, saying? Give her some help, Melly. I mean, she says she's working on herself. You know, she's young. She, she's figuring out life. And I mean, I think we're all still figuring out for, you know, for the most part of the life. It's a, a growing process, you know. Um, you guys are funny. The, the chat shook her. I don't know. She says she was cool. I, I like to check on the guests because I know sometimes you guys are 
not sometimes, most of the time you guys are harsh. And um, yeah, I knew when she said the, the 17, I was like, oh, she didn't say it to the right, the, the right crowd because you guys are going to kill her. But um, what else? What, what are you guys saying? Yeah, you say she was getting roasted in the chat, so I don't uh, blame her. Um, you guys are, uh, oh my God, you guys are out of control. Okay. Who said Melly played too nice to these women? It's not about playing nice. It's just, you know, if I want women on my platform, I bring them for you. So I can't be mean or a bitch or anything, which is one, not my personality, but two, it's, I'm just being a facilitator, if that's a word. And uh, so then you guys can talk and I bring all type of different women, I feel, so you can see what's out there. And then you see what you like, what you don't like. And if you don't like, don't call, you know? Um, Jose Perez, guys, stop being mean. That's not cool. We have to protect our queens. Hey, I am just saying we're here. It's a show and I'm going to continue to, to bring different type of women. She was young. I think she, she might have been the youngest uh, woman we had on here, 21. 21. Can you do something for me? Um, yeah, she's young. She's working on it. Um, Jose is the simp of the night. I don't know why you're saying that. Radio Kareem, I think that was the name. Um, what else? What else? That's it. Well, that's all we got for tonight, guys. We're going to come back on uh, on Wednesday with another pineapple show. I'll let you know who it is tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I like that. Somebody said she was very honest about where she is in her life. Exactly. Um, shit, you guys writing uh writing to pass tonight this is what passport bros are taking are taking down so fellas get your passport this is what will be in your lap after dinner y'all i don't know you guys be thinking that women overseas are so much different <clears throat> i don't know i know america is like you know we see it a lot in the in the media but i think it's everywhere because social media is everywhere and every woman starts seeing, oh, I want this life, I want this, I want that. I think it's everywhere. It's just, um, what should I say? I think how people are, be are being raised nowadays. And, you know, if you've been raised right, maybe you won't go the route of like what those women are asking, um, you know, the crazy expectations or preferences. Guys, I work at Walmart. I got money, so chill. Well, thank you, Jose Perez, to, to share some of your money with me. I appreciate you. Um, well, that's it. That's, that's all we got. I see the, the, the room is still full. I appreciate all of you guys for being here. I know it's fucking late, but hey. Uh, also, I don't know if you've checked uh, my traveling channel. It's uh, some videos. Now I have a, I have a bunch now. I have a bunch of videos if you want to see what I do when I go to, um, where did I go? Uh, Jamaica should be ready tomorrow. Uh, I went to Miami, London, Switzerland, Paris. All of this is up. Uh, Mexico, that's up too. So if you guys want to go check that out, it's on uh, Medi Travels. You can do that. I don't know if you like cars. There's still many motors. You can check it out. And there is a Pineapple Show channel. I am starting to post like the best moment of the shows. I had taken a break because it was taking uh, a minute to edit all of this. But yes, that's what we're doing. Uh, Melly looking like a Cavalier King, Charles Pignon with that hairdo. Okay. Uh, hit the like button for Melly. Yes, please do that. Pineapple immigration. What you mean? Um, oh, I got detained when I came back from Jamaica, but that's in the blog. You can go check it out. But I got detained for two and a half hours, three hours. But I guess it's the regular. Every time I ask them, uh, is this going to stop at some point? They're like, oh, no, until you become a citizen, we're always going to do that. I'm like, well, great. Great. That sounds good. But hey, either you want to travel or you don't, but that's 
a little cost for the fun that I'm having when I do travel. So, but yes, but also I want to do a traveling group. So I'm trying to put that together and um, I don't know, trying to put, uh, to pick a destination. And I tell you guys and whoever want to book it, you guys book it through like a link that I would give you. And then we all go. I think that could be cool. And uh, not a super big group, maybe 10 people, maybe, because too many might be a little too out of control. Uh, somebody said they detain me while, well, they detain me all the time. I came back from France, they detain me in Jamaica, they detain me in Mexico, they detain me every, every time. So it's just, who say I'm the new Britney, uh, Britney, Britney who? Which one, Greener? Uh, stop. They detain me just to check a second time. It's not like they find anything wrong with me. It's just a second time they check. Detained for what? Just because I'm not a citizen. A green card to them is that, oh, it's not enough. We got to check your shit, check your bags, check that everything is good. I don't know. But hey, yes, all the time they do that shit. Um, but yes, we're free melee. No, I haven't been uh, <laughs> arrested. I'm just detained in a separate room and it takes a little longer to go through immigration but they always let me through, so we're good. They're looking for drugs. I'm, <laughs> I don't do drugs. I'm not bringing drugs, that's for sure. Um, Melly, is MTR strapped up? Just curious. What does it mean, strapped up? Uh, like, does he have a gun? I mean, I, I don't know. I don't think he would. You can bring a gun overseas, I don't think, right? So... Um, Mainly the plug. I am not the plug. Uh, all right, we're out. Guys, I appreciate you for being here. And we will talk again on Wednesday. All right, you guys have a good night. I appreciate you. Bye-bye.